It's lovely to be with you today. My name is Rebecca Redican, but you can call me Becky. And we have got a real treat for you today. Oh yeah. DVDs, tools, ginkgo beads, and the incredible Hannah! Hello! Hello, lovely Hello. lady! Hello! I'm glad that we both got the red memo. I know. Well, I was going to put the hat on, but I'm actually really warm at the minute. Yeah. So there's a festive hat that goes with it, but... Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. It's too hot. It's just warm. It's too hot. <laughs> it is. It's warm. How are you? Wonderful. I'm, I'm good, thank you. Yes, really good. Give us a little bit of insight about your first kits, please. Um, well, I've never had these before. These are flint beads. So check glass, flint beads, and um, they're just amazing. So I've not used them before. Me being me, I'm a Christmasaholic. Yeah. So I wanted to do a bauble with them. So I couldn't decide which design I wanted. So I did three. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't stop, could you? I know. <laughs> These pieces are epic. You have done such a rad job. You really, Thank really you. have. We are going to have a good old nose rooney at them in a short while. And don't forget, we will be having demos as well. You will notice as well that beside me, I have some baubles. Want to learn how to make them? You're in the right place. So yeah, loads and loads and loads of treats coming up for you as we go on today. I need to give you a heads up about a couple of things. We've seen the nephrite, right? We've seen the jade. Let's just take another little look. Jade feels different to jade eye. It feels denser. It actually, therefore, makes it better for your jewellery, for wearing in your jewellery. The sizeability on this is... Um, it's absolutely magnificent. We are giving you the most workable chance, in my opinion, we ever have been able to even perceive here at Jewelry Maker for this jade. It is coming up for you at eight o'clock. You may well see revolving at the bottom of your screen something that looks almost too good to be true. It is what you're thinking it is. It is Morganite, but it is, truthfully, one of the most beautifully nuanced in colour strands we've ever brought. It is in this hour and it is under 20. <coughs> yeah, under 20 for this. And let's face it, it is incredible. Only got 77, did you say? 57 even, 57. That's all I've got of that. So if you uh, do fancy it, do dive on in quickly when that comes up in this hour, as I've said. Shall we, uh, shall we? Shall we? Shall we let? Ho, 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 ho. One. Two. Mega bundle, everyone. Three. This is going to fly out the door. The graphics are in. Four. We're going under 20. There's literally one now left. By the time I get these out, it probably will have sold out. Have a little look at how many I've got. Do you know what? Just this strand. Just this strand. I love it. Should be that price. You've seen it behind me. This whole hour is under 20. We are doing it for you today. I'm still going. 19.95 for all of them. Absolutely every single one. 10 strands worth, including the bead scoop strand. 19.95 for the amount of gemstones you're getting on that one. That is incredible. I've got oodles in here. I've got um, rutilated quartz. I've oh that's gorgeous. Golden rutile, really rich. I've got for you your tiger's eye. I've got your pre night. Well done, well done. There's loads of you. It's fastest finger first. Who is quicker? Is it Norfolk? Norfolk. It's London. London. You got it. London. You got it. Another low stock, fancy a gift for someone and everyone. Um, written both of these um, by um, Jill and Liz, who I know we've spoken about on air quite a few times. The Bead Workers Guild, three books, one price. And there is so much information in here. I have now only got one, that is it, there is one left. You've got one that is your bracelets, one that is your necklaces, and one that is your earrings. I'll give you just a quick sort of shimmy through one of these just to give you an idea. 
of how much information is in this, just look, netting, the peyote stitch, Aztec designed. There is absolutely oodles and oodles, really nicely sort of expressed as well. Um, really easy to follow. It's $17.95 and that is for all three. It's fastest finger first again. Fastest finger first. Do you want to see the faces? Yeah, there you go. Let me go to... Oh, rose gold. With cubic zirconia, it is on a base metal, but the look and the sparkle you get is insanely beautiful. So, let me show you the, I'll hold that like that so you can actually see them. Stay there. No, nope, you saw it. Blinking, you missed it. I'll hold it. There you go. So, you could use these as bead caps. You can use these to space out your gemstones. I've now got one and one alone, probably because. Ooh, for, do you know what these are great for? You stretch your bracelets. You know you stretch the bracelets when you do the knot and you, you want to hide the knot? Just pop one of them in, bit of glue, jobs are good in. And how much are they each then? What, 30p about, approximately? Fastest finger first again, we're in it to win it today. By the time I've, uh, they've gone, they've gone, who got it? Buckingham sure did, well done. <sighs> You know the really amazing strands of hematites we've been doing? I've got one coming up now. So if you fancy ringing, I'd be quick off the mark. Look at these. I love them. I just think they almost look a bit military. They've got an element of the chain about them. They are all individual. They're a toga party, I love it. They're all individual, um, but of course they sit in beautifully together. One of them available, one only, 70 carats worth one price, eight pounds and 95 pence. They're really cool, aren't they? I love them, yeah. We've been doing some really uh, snazzy ones of hematite recently. I love the way it flows too. It almost looks like a really expensive looking chain. Don't you think? Does, doesn't it? It looks like a really bulky, strong, sturdy chain. It's fastest finger first. You've got to be in it to win it. You have. Um, who's going to check out first? Ooh. Devon, I've, I've got faith in you. Well done. Okay, let's go for another one. This is double drilled, okay? So you might not have seen these ones before. Again, it's a relatively new one to us. Double drilled for you. Perfect for you crafting, and this is hematite. Again, let me show you. They have got a touch of the Pez sweets about them, you're right. There you go, see, double drill hole there. So you've got real easy peasily workability. Um, we've only got one, yet again, under 20 pounds. Nine pounds and 95 pence for you. These are around about, uh, oh, they've gone, they've gone. You're gonna get loads on there. Let's dive for, what's meant to be in here, pop it. Copper sheet and doming punch block sets. There is nothing in there, but I wonder if it's... Uh... We'll see if we can find a picture. Basically, it's a metal sheet. Oh, it's all of this. There you go. So this is to help your dappling, your, da your dappling and your, d -d 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 what's it called? Doming. Yes, that's it. Is it this? Yeah. Oh, have you just had, did you enjoy that trip? No, I just... You were right, you haven't done yourself, have you? Here you are. Let me get this out. Oh! You do get a metal sheet with this, which I can't see. But you get, you get the gist. Right, do you know what, it's selling out. <laughs> but by the time I've unpacked it all, comes up, here you go. You see, just, you, there you go, you get the size, idea of the size. I'm not taking it, I'm out of the bags. They are gently oiled, don't forget, so it keeps them in good nick. Two of them available now. 19.95. These for your metal work, these for your um, uh, doming, these for your wire work even, because you can use these with your wire work. They're about to sell out. I like all the packaging. Snazzy that. It's like Christmas. Oh, I love it. Do you know what? It's a very important day today. It's, uh, it's uh, 
my baby's birthday. Yeah, not not the baby I gave birth to. Yeah, it's Mulberry's birthday. Oh, thanks. She's seven years old. My golden retriever. My golden retriever, seven years old. She's officially now a senior, apparently, for her size. She acts like, well, when people ask me when I'm out walking her, how, oh, how old is your dog? And she's there whacking her tail and doing loop-de-loops and, you know, being nuts. I, uh, I lie and say she's three. Um, <laughs> she's three years old. Um, let me bring you some opal. There you go. Have a little look. 10% of the Morganite has gone on pre-order. Don't forget, it's in this hour. It's under 20 pounds. October's birthstone. Hannah, what would you do with this, my lovely lady? Well, I quite like the idea of having lots of different um, nuggets together and then twist them so you get a really big look. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I was hidden behind a tree. She's, she's lurking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks weird, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so, yeah, just a, a big twisted necklace of some sort and then probably put some uh, metallic spaces in there as well. Nice. Give it a bit of a, a, I don't know, a sparkle. A little extra zhuzh. Yeah. We're not afraid to sparkle here. No. We are not. <laughs> we are not. Um, OK, we are doing you that drop now. You ready? 60 carats worth. We are giving you this price drop. It's already a great price, but £9.95. pence. You actually get to see the raw material. And you can see as well that you're getting those little moments of sparklets underneath the surface as well. Um, so if you do want to grab it home, then do absolutely feel free to for the October babies. Maybe you too have got an October baby birthday for your dog. Maybe. Do you celebrate your dog's birthday, Dan? Uh, she hasn't had, a she hasn't had yet, one yet, has she? Be, Are you going to? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, April. Yeah, April. Little April baby. Little Get her a diamond. Yeah. There you are. Right, I'm with you. Jump rings. Jump rings, jump rings, jump rings. Oh, my. Um, here we go. Um, open jump rings I'm bringing to you now. These we know are always popular. Use them as spacers. Use them um, in chain mail. Um, I'll pick one of them up for you to give you an idea of what we're dealing with. Now these are saw cut. And the fact that these are saw cut means that they... Um, are very very versatile but also very strong so it means that if you are going to be opening up these to add a clasp on etc it's very unlikely that that clasp is going to come apart because the saw cut is so perfect and therefore rejoins so perfectly they're really nice they're really secure they are an essential so not just for chain mail but as i said for adding on clasps etc these are a must so if you fancy grabbing it you're getting 200 of them 200 jump rings that's enough for a bracelet just to let you know um size is five mil on these four pounds and 95 pence only that is it and you could do the likes of a chain mail bracelet with this with just that one pack $5.95 for you today on these ones. That's 2.4 pence each. Anyone remember 2.4 children? With what? Yeah, yeah, it was a 2.4 children TV show and it's like a comedy show, wasn't it? It was it was it was before like my family. And um yeah, I can't remember exactly, but it was meant to, it was a comedy, wasn't it? And didn't um didn't Ant and or Deck go out with one of them for a long time? <laughs> Ant and or Deck. You know, who knows? Anyway, there you go. Uh, four pounds and ninety-five pence. Hi East Sussex! I've got more of these ones, you'll be glad to know. What do you like about a jump ring or two, lovely Hannah? Um, well, I'm not very good at chainmail. I've, I've tried it and I need, I need some lessons from Fleur or somebody like that, I think, because uh, every time I try and do it, it all seems to go a bit strange. Mm. But I do like a bit of chainmail in the design because I like the metallicness of it. You yeah. know, is that a word, metallicness? I know exactly yeah, what you mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I like, I like sort of the, the fact you can have an expansive chain, but something that you've still crafted. Yes, I know exactly what I'm you mean. I'm just not very good at crafting it. <laughs> But like you say, you only need a little bit. It goes a long way. Yes. Okie pokes. Should we bring you some wire? 
Chewy. Oof. One mil. No point six. No point eight. I'll put them in an orderish. Uh, oh, one point two five. Right. Well, that's messed me order up, but I'll give it a go. And a 0.4, there we go. These ones where it looks a little bit uh, duller, don't worry, it's nothing wrong with the wire, it's just we've got the wire protector on there. 1.25 all the way up to a 0.4. That is a serious amount. Now the fact of the matter is that we've got superstructure here. These ones you can use for um, really big focal pieces, clasps, for example, that you don't want to move. Your one mil, of course, we can use as your structure, so they're going to be great to use um, with your wire weaving, and especially when you're using it alongside the 0.4 and the 0.6 even sometimes, because remember, if you're using a 1.25, you can weave with a 0.6 because of that variation in it. Um, it's going to create really big, chunky look, obviously, but it is a good way of using it. We do not get to see a collection like this very often at all. We we managed to get a few bits of wire on the wire work we kenned a few ago, but if you missed out on that, do not you worry. You are in the right place. We are going to give you a deal and a half right here, right now, under £20 for all five of them. All five of those. Well done, Dorset, you straight in. Essex was hot on your heels. £12.95 for your wire. Wire, I still think, is probably one of our most loved and most um, talked about of mediums here at Jewelry Maker. I mean, if we're totally honest, seed beading has taken off massively. You know, there's a lot of people who adore seed beading, but I still do believe that wire work is up there as one of our go-to favourite mediums, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. If, like, if you're starting out and you've never made anything before, you can make your own chain links, you can make your own findings, you can make sculptures or you can make jewellery, so mm. it's really versatile. It's a really, really mm. good one. Yeah. Um, and actually, obviously, it is Christmas weekend. And uh, just a little heads up, actually, if you are into sculptures, etc. cetera, um, I have put up on my Rebecca Redikin presenter page some pictures um, from all of my guest designers coming up this weekend, actually. And um, the sculpture one reminded me, because on Sunday, I've got Spellbinding, uh, Laura Binding on the mid, and she's done, like, Snowman. It's really cool. Name holder. It's really cool. Anywho, balls. Say again. Yeah, I'm not ignoring you. My earpiece just keeps jutting in and out. How's about I bring to you a pyrographer's dream? We've got your wooden beads. So I have got for you a six pack here. You can color these, paint these. You can um, pyrograph into these. You can just You right there, Dan? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. Sin. S want to say anything? No. No, no, you're all right. One pound for you today. You have got a one pound deal. That is absolutely and completely it. It is a brilliant, brilliant addition. It truly is um, to your collection. The likes of Gemma Crow loves working with wooden beads, doesn't she? Um, we, um, a couple of weeks ago when we uh, went out, she was wearing this really, really big design and a lot of it were made up with spherical wooden beads. So it was a huge design that she was wearing, but obviously wouldn't have been as weighty as it would to get that kind of look with a genuine gemstone, which generally will have a higher density to it. Speaking of density, I'm so excited. That I just can't hide it. Oh, who's got that Friday feeling? Anyone? Yeah, yeah, got that Friday feeling. I think you've had a lovely work week if you've been working um and i hope you've got a gorgeous weekend plan let me know i know it's just been being nosy really but i do like to know what everyone's got coming up hey maybe you've got a craft fair you're doing and you want to you know give it a little bit of a heads up on air let us know let us know let's dive to sunstone dunstone oh wow Wow, that is a beautiful quality. Oh my gosh, with the Morganite, which by the way, 10% of the stock has gone on pre-order. With the Morganite, that is a really beautiful tone. Sunstone, I find on occasion, can look a little bit, a little bit weedy, a little bit sort of weak, a little bit, um, you know, kind of 
doesn't look like it packs a punch sometimes. But with this one, I think partly due to the fact that it's got gorgeous facets on the outside, as you can see in this recording, but also because you've got that wonderful um, sort of agile essence, if you will, in the center of these, you're getting a real interesting mix and pairing that actually is making this very appealing to me, I have to say. Hmm. We are bringing to you uh, three bitties they are, and you're getting a twin, I'm sorry, a 38 uh, centimeter strand. And today we have got the full 15 carats worth for you. Add a rolling down deal. Bye, Bruce. See you tomorrow. 12,095 pence today. That is your opportunity. Just, I like the idea of this as a bracelet. I quite like the idea of doing like an eternity, a full eternity band with this because it's not too chunky that it's going to be uncomfortable. There's nothing worse than that, is there? What would you do, my sparkle queen? Um, I think I'd team that with something like, um, like a burgundy tone or a deep red, maybe a garnet or something like that and make a really sort of sparkly evening piece with it. Love that idea. Just, you know. Feeling a bit sort of autumnal, maybe Christmassy, whichever, yeah. whichever you like. Yeah. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I said Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's, how many days is it now? We've got to be 70 something, hasn't it? 76 sleeps is your guess. Oh, it's a guess. 75 <laughs> sleeps. Is that it? That's it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful drops, very pretty. Black and silver, black and gold has, has always been a popular combo, but this kind of silver that's almost got a, a back palette of a gunmetal hue about it, I think works really nice with black. And this is my black obsidian, and I'm bringing this to you as a star buy very, very soon. Uh, 8.45, that one's coming up for you. But yeah, I think that's a really nice pairing, actually. We are bringing to you the center drilled drops now. Um, you, some of the DVDs that you've got coming up, you work with this shape, actually, don't you? You know the Murano glass I've, ones? Yeah, I've, d I've done some, um, I can't remember what the, uh, the, the DVD was called, actually, with, with the Murano. It, it's probably just the introduction to Murano glass, but, yeah. Um, yeah, they've got the lovely sort of drop shapes, so yeah. it's, um, it's like a natural sort of pendulum shape. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm like, it's, it's perfect. It's but, cool, like, isn't it? Earrings or, you know pendants, whatever you want. And if your ears have just pricked up and you've gone, hang on, DVD? Yeah, we have got numerous DVDs on for you today. So uh, let's give you this opportunity. We are bringing to you the just over a centimetre worth in the drop, and we're bringing to you a 38 centimetre strand again. That beautiful sort of gunmetal silver, if you will. We're bringing it to you today. Ooh, great deal. $8.95 for you. That is your deal today. We are in our under £20 hour and yes, the Morganite will be up in this hour. It is going to go under 20 even though for the quality of it, I don't think you'd expect it. I mean, it is next level. It's just astonishing to be able to see that nuance of individual colour. Do you know what? To be able to get a Morganite that has nice strength of colour and actually also clarity under £20, those don't generally go hand in hand, do they? Normally you have to pick one or the other. Do I want a nice bold colour, but totally included, or do I want the light shining through and kind of watery in colour? Normally you have to decide. With this one you get both. And we're doing it for under £20 today. Eee! Well done, loads of you in, hello. Quite a few of you with it in your baskets as well. I do hope you're having a lovely afternoon. Yes, we've got Jadeite coming up. Oh, no, we haven't, we've got Neff, right? Um, yes, we have got Obsidian coming up. Yes, we've got Seed Beads. Yes, we've got DVDs, we've got Hannah, we've got Murano Glass as well. We've got Oodles coming up for you tonight, we really do, so it's well worth opening your basket. If you fancy, treat yourself to summer. We do have inspiration as well, my love. Of course we do. Of course we do. Let's go for some head pins, if I may. I'm going to bring them in the gold plated. Oh, these are beautiful. Interesting. What thickness are these, Tom? It's a piece of hers. I'm really... <gasps> wow. So, basically, these are a precious metal version of our... Um, what are they called? Featherweight. 
aren't they? Because normally it's like yeah. a 0 0.6, it's isn't fine, it? Yeah, if it's the fine ones, then yes, featherweights. Yeah. In sterling silver, essentially. Because featherweights are smaller, aren't they? Because featherweights aren't the 0 0.6, they are more like your 0 0.4. And that is what these ones are. Wow! And look, they've got the flattened bottoms as well. I've not seen us do these before. Oh, I've got one left. Oh, it's gone. Well done. Ha! Oh, that was an amazing deal. Let me bring you some floor right that might go nicely with it. Don't worry, I have got some other treats that you may well like. The cubes. Do you know what? I have a feeling that if fluorite isn't always your gemstone, I have a feeling that this genuinely might change your mind. I love this shape. It's so geometric, it's so on trend. I love that it's so geometric and on trend. I love the geometric effect. And like, um, just to let you know, I've got Umbra tomorrow afternoon and they are launching, we are launching um, some new treats that we haven't brought to air before, this being one of them. Um, but there's also a really geometric tray that looks so much like this. It really is like a very, very fashionable um, shape of this time, isn't it? Well, it's, it's, it's elegant and timeless, I think. Anything yeah. geometric is going to just keep rolling, I think. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, yeah no, so, you, know, you know, so some of the fashions that go like round in circles, that yeah. one never seems to go. No, it's, it's always yeah. a popular one, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to bring now Labrador Labradorites. Ooh. Little, little pops of the gold shining through on this one. I'm bringing to you 130 carats worth of your labradabradorite. And, I uh, no idea why I said it like that. I probably won't do it again, you're all right. Um, we've got 130 carats worth here. And it's got that almost, you know, that kind of greyhound grey that you get that's kind of almost got the back palette of blue. That's what I think you're getting here. I love the idea of this, just on memory wire. That's it, nothing hard at all. Memory wire, jobs are good in. Maybe two loops of this would be good enough. And you could use one for a ring, couldn't you? Maybe pick out the one that sparkles and shines most to you. And then you can um, have that in a ring, maybe. So it's going to go really far a strand like this. Again, 38 centimetres. 3.95. Right, let's, let's break this down. £3.95, pence. that is approximately the price of a magazine, isn't it? Some magazines, mind you, especially if we're crafters, as we are, they can be so much more expensive, can't they? You can be talking 9, 10, 11 pounds, can't you? Um, 3.95 is also, what did you say, Ben? Coffee. Coffee? Yeah. A vegetarian triple. Three sandwiches. What is the veg in them? Egg and crust, strong, nice. Cheese, no, it's not for me, that's gone. And cheese and pickle, oh. Um, say that again. Aha, uh -huh, that's what I thought. Let me find you. Oh, that's pretty. Interestingly, it feels more like an opal. But it's not. It's agate, but it feels more like an opal. This shape's divine. I did on my Facebook page um, a couple of weekends ago, I had a trip to um, Spode, the um, China Hall, um, at the Potteries in Stoke. And um, I did a little bit of a Facebook Live there and we had a little walk around the China Hall and we had a look at loads of different sort of pots and loads of handmade pieces. And quite a few of them actually had this kind of texturing to them. Hello, everybody, says Tina. Are there any silver bells? Silver bells this weekend. Tina, just for you. I'm gonna do it next. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Um, 25 carats worth of your dendrite agate. 14 pounds and 95 pence for you. Or are they? We're gonna go lower. Lower in price means a better bargain. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence today. Loads of you now. It looks like about fifteen percent of the stock has gone on this morganite. It is an incredible opportunity we're going to offer to you in this hour. Um, so don't forget that's coming up. Also, I've got the obsidian that might actually go rather nicely with. 
they stand right. Brings that draws out more of the depth of colour in a way, doesn't it? Hmm, it's got a little bit of something extra. Uh, 8.45, don't forget on that one. I've also got, who doesn't need the kits? Do you mind if I give you a heads up about one of the kits? I'm just going to go for the Nero's. Uno, dos. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, blimey, Charlie. <laughs> Sorry, I'll pick them up. Uh, yeah, coming up for you. And these are just some of the elements that has made up the beautiful jewellery that Hannah's going to be teaching us today. Um, there's so much inspiration coming up throughout the day. I'm really excited. Um, okay, well done, everybody. I'm moving on to get you some of the silver bowls. Oh, oh nearly caught it. This is for Tina. There you go. What do you think? They're so pretty. They're so cute. Eight mil. It's the size on these ones. I'm going to put them through a little bit of thread. Because you can't really hear them jingling when they're at hold by metal, if that makes sense. Listen. Oh, isn't that lovely? There's something about little tinkling noise of bells that just feels so wintry. It is kind of... Um, it's magical. What, yeah, it is. It's magical. It's yeah. fairies, it's Tinkle Bell, it's magic, it's Christmas, it's Santa on his way. It's, it's um, oh, what's the film? Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. It's, it's wonderful a wonderful life, life yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, one of the saddest films oh, I know. ever. It, it is happy at the end, yeah, but you have to go through a bit of turmoil to get yeah. there. Do you know what I mean? Watch it every um, year and every year I cry. <laughs> pound for you today. Multi purchases. Tina was straight in. She came in, grabbed herself a couple. Good work, Tina. One pound. You fancy that? Could add another, couldn't you, really? What are you going to do with them, Tina? Again, I'm being dead nosy. You don't have to message me in and let me know. But I would like to know. Why, why, why do you need bells? Have you, got, have you got a commission on? Have you got some makes in mind? Maybe it's your cat's birthday. I've just dropped that down my top, Dan. I've just pulled them down my top. <laughs> that bit is spring. I have, yeah. <laughs> just gotta, just gotta. I'm not gonna try and make it jingle. Now I'm standing very, very still. Cold, that. Cold. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, <laughs> I love this. Look at these. These are going to be gorgeous alongside those bells, actually. Look <laughs> at them. They've got this sort of brush <laughs> detail to them. They look lovely, don't they? We have got for you that lovely brush detail. So again, if you wanted to add these on as like a focal, it's not going to be maybe as distracting as say some of your pure silver pieces um, because you've got that brushed effect. So it kind of mottles the light in a way. We've got for you solid sterling silver here. And yes, it is full 925. Let me just talk to you about the weight of them. They are seriously weighty, you know. They're, they're over a gram each, as you can see, three uh, grams, 20 in total. So they've got a serious weight to them, so they're going to feel very luxurious. There's been loads of studies done on this, but essentially it's believed that we as humans perceive things that have a, a heavier feel to them. We perceive as being better quality. We also perceive as being um, sort of better for us, in essence. We're bringing to you 925 solid sterling silver. And it's just 995 for you. That's it. And that is for all three of them. I think these, just as that little extra je ne sais quoi to your designs, is going to work really beautifully. A really nice accent design. And remember, you could have these, for example, if you're anything like me, one of my pet peeves. And I don't really have so, um, many pet peeves. I'm just not that kind of person. But one of my pet peeves is when you're wearing a necklace and the clasp, falls around to the front constantly. It's always falling around to the front. Sometimes one way to 
out counteract that is if you pop a little bit of an extender chain to the clasp area and you actually put something like this from it it weighs it down more at the back so it's less likely to rock around so something like this could be added as I say you will need to add a little bit of chain obviously to attach these but yeah that that generally can counteract it obviously it depends what you've got on the front of the pendant as well but um, yeah just a thought at nine pounds and 95 pence that is all let me show it you with these two yeah. Do you fancy grabbing your hands on this? We were going to do this at, in, in 10 minutes, but because we've had so many people check out on this, I've actually got 30% of my stock gone. So we're going to bring it to air now, just in case people keep checking out. The fact of the matter is, I could stand here and wax lyrical about all of the attributes and benefits that this specific strand has. I could talk to you all about the differences and nuances of colour and the fact that the actual colours in here aren't just the baby pink that we see in more bead quality, but actually more of the salmon hues that we see in gem quality. I could say all of that and a thousand and two things more. All I'm going to say is... It's under 20 pounds. It's incredible quality. I'd start dialing now. You can see the quality of this. It is absolutely blatant. For anyone that doesn't know this gemstone, it's, it's, I suppose in the grand scheme of things, it's a relatively new gemstone discovered around 1910 or 1911. And it was discovered by George Frederick Kunz, who named this gemstone in honor of his um, patron, a New York banker and philanthropist, philanthropist, I always find that art word really hard to say, um, John Morgan, named after him. And the fact of the matter is that this gemstone kind of took the world by storm a little bit because it, the, nothing quite like it had ever been found. We are giving you the opportunity today to get a phenomenal quality of morganite that does not have... As I mentioned before, the weak watery colour that is often so synonymous with morganite. What you're getting here is layers of light. And it's kind of interesting really because you remember this forms in layers, doesn't it? When you're thinking about how morganite forms, it forms almost in steps. Uh, like if you imagine, the way I describe it is like Joe Tetris, not Tetris, that's the lie, Jenga. You know the block game Jenga? And you stack them all on top of each other and they kind of move and topple around. Imagine Jenga, but hexagonals and kind of slightly out of kilter and out of line. That's how these form. So to actually be able to get um, different layers of the block game, if you will, means that you get different colours. And what I really appreciate on this strand is that you are seeing those different colours. Yes, I am getting now and again moments of the baby pink, but more than anything, I'm getting those peaches. I'm getting those expensive looking blushes. I'm getting those gem quality colours that I see in, in, you know, sort of magazines around the world that show the salmon pinks of Morganite. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. That's what's different about this. The graphics are live. I'm bringing you 100 carats worth today. If you're looking at this and you're thinking, Bex, I don't believe that should be under 20 pounds. There must be something wrong with it. Well, you're right. It's 80 pound strand. We are in the under 20. All of that 30% of people who checked out earlier on, all of you, you will pay the final closing price. Just remember that. Everybody here at Jewelry Maker pays the final closing. And if you are watching on the repeat and, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of the morning, you also will be playing the final closing price so long as you check out before 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. The closing price is not £80. Should be, could be, would be for you today... 
With deals like that on screen, it is time to seize the moment. With deals like that on screen, it is time for you to think, right, seriously, how many of these do I want to get? Because actually, if I hold this out for you and you look along and see the quality and you see the beauty and you see the light, the vigor, the effervescence, and you remember that this is natural, that £80 price point shouldn't even be an issue for you. The fact of the matter is, it's our Christmas fair, it's our Christmas event, it's the first day of it. We said before, we have really got that Friday feeling. I'm gonna prove it. This is an 80 pound strand, remember that, remember. It is an 80 pound Morganite, probably one of the most luxurious looking Morganites we have seen in quite some time. And it's 16 pounds and 95 pence only. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be, shouldn't be. Do get your authenticity card, absolutely worth it. Do uh, call the call center to find out more or, or grab it on jewelrymaker.com. Get your authenticity on that. Bargain hunters, you are in this Friday evening. Good evening, Worcestershire. Hello, Nottinghamshire. Vela Morgan, thanks for checking out. West Midlands, you have too. I've got um, Greater Manchester in. I've got Suffolk. I've got another West Midlands. Hello to you. I've got Worcestershire. Kent, hello, County Atrium. Dorset, you're in with us. Devon, you are. Hello to you. I've got Manchester. Well done. Um, money back guarantee, 30 days. And remember, what I love about us here at Jewelry Maker is we don't go, right, okay, um, you know, let's Let's, let's give you a credit note or whatever that you can only spend with us. The money goes back into your account, okay? So it's a money back guarantee, 30 days. I mean, there's no chance whatsoever you're gonna be sending this back, I don't think. But it's always nice to know that that is there as a little bit of a safety net if anything were to happen. For example, like me, and um, when I got home the other day, my leaking kitchen. It's leaking from the shower in the bathroom above. Uh, it's an insurance job. I've had to have someone over. It is a rip out all of the tiles, rip up the floor. Yeah, it's, it's a big job. But things like that, you know, when things like that go wrong, if you didn't have insurance, of course, or even actually with me excess, I have to pay. Uh, you know, it's maybe good to know that if you've got that safety net of the 30 day money back guarantee, if anything silly like that is to go wrong. So do feel free to use it. Essex is in, hi, a five. I'd love to know what you would do with this, um, lovely Hannah, because I know that you have a real passion and penchant for colour, don't you? I do. What I, do you yeah. think of this strand? Um, well, I think it's a very forgiving colour, isn't it? I think it's going to go with a lot of different things. So, um, you know, you can, you can put it with pastels, you could put it with black for a bit of drama if mm. you want. You could go for sort of anything you like, really takes your fancy, because I think it will blend nicely in. Do you think? I yeah. love it. Yeah. yeah, I agree with you on that. Totally agree with you. I think with the blacks, as you were saying, I think that does add an extra... It's, it adds a zing. It's dramatic, isn't it? It really does, and it just goes to show, actually, how perfectly peachy the Morgan Heights are. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because if they were a little bit more baby pink, then actually I don't think that would work as well. But no, you're right, that adds a little bit of drama. And I like that a lot. Um, actually, I'm looking at some of these with some of your kit colours too, your metallics. Yeah, they go, well, I think they'd look really nice. Like, because I've done um, baubles like, with, with some of the designs, you could have gemstones like sort of cascading off the bottom of the bauble with a tassel. That's a lovely idea. Yeah. Oh, if you fancy it, you know. <laughs> yeah. There is oodles and oodles of you. Your names went off my screen a while ago. Well done. I've got about 60% of the stock probably gone on that now. But there are quite a few of you with it in your baskets. That has proven so popular that Tom's going to give you another Morganite strand. Now, this is different. This one is opaque. But it has got sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Do you know what? I like this because I think it goes to prove exactly what we're talking about here with Morganite. This Morganite is exceptional for under £20. It's got the clarity and everything else. No, this one doesn't have clarity, but if you want a sparkly, 
um, uh, Morganite and that one's not quite done it for you, then here you go, we've got it. Bringing to you your Morganite in your irregular rondelles. It has got sparkle, 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 and really shimmying with light there. Because this is opaque, then of course you can put it with other opaque gemstones if you so wish, it's gonna work quite nicely. Let me have a look at the drill hole for you. Cause I'm just thinking, stretch your bracelet. Hi, right. good size, good size. There you go. Nice to see the face of it too actually, isn't it? 40 pounds, it's good, I like it. But I don't love it. It is under 20 pounds hour of course. And today, 19 pounds and 95 pence for you. That is absolute bare bones of where we can go on this. It's a sensational, sensational, well-known gemstone that we love and adore. And remember that if you want this one, it is on the side of your screen just here. Code on that is SFKY37. And if you want this one, that has the clarity and the sort of differences in colors, um, then that is at the bottom of your screen as it stands WFNV. 10 is your code on that one. So you make your decision, you make your choice. Hey, get both if you fancy it, because you could pair them together. It's the same gemstone, but it looks so different. It looks so different, doesn't it? It does, but it's nice if you put them together. Yeah. We have got 19.95 on these ones for you today. A big well done to you all. Thank you so much for joining us. I've got loads of treats beside me. Loads and loads of goodies. Uh, beating thread. Well, I never. Not one beading thread. Not two. Nay, three beading threads. If you own the Super Vintage Now DVD that is Adventures with Beading Thread by the wonderful Gemma Crow, you will know that there is a multitude of elements you can do with um, this product that isn't just simple stringing. For the bare bones of it though, that is what we generally use it for. For anyone who doesn't know, there is essentially lots of little fine wires all looped within here. You've then got that um, coating over the top, the plastic coating, which means that you can, it gives you real nice movement in your design. So you can just thread onto it, pop a clasp on the back, jobs a good one. It's um, great as well if you want to do your kind of suspended necklace designs. Of course, you can also um, make it into really nice tendrils as well. If you get, for example, your scissors and you simply, imagining that's the um, <clears throat> one of the uh, what, blades of the scissors, shall we say, and if you do this, it will brrr, into tendrils, so it will make it um, kind of go, I'll do it a little bit with that, yeah, oh yeah, it will go a little bit tenderly, so you can attach um, you know, bows with this, or you can put gemstones on here, and it kind of makes it look a bit like lianas, for example. So, bringing to you three, the triple thread, triple thread, like triple thread off of singing, acting, dancing, or wrestling. What's a triple threat match? Three people in a ring. Gosh, well, I never. Learn something new every day, don't you? They don't teach you that on Glow, I'll be honest. Um, have you seen Glow? Gorgeous ladies of wrestling, exactly that. Um, anyway, £3.95 for you today. It's fabulous, isn't it, that? What would you use something like this for? Beading thread, well, it's, it's your, your essential. It's a so, go-to, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, if, if you're doing any kind of simple threaded necklace, then yeah. that's, that's, you can't really make it without it. No. So, I mean, I quite like that. And we've got a, a little example of something here. I don't know if it's a Jasper. Oh, yes, yes, there. let me grab it off. So just, I'm assuming that that's on beading thread as a standard. You assume correctly. Yeah. So, so any, any gemstone with the space of beads between and then just a simple thread, thread them on, add your clasp, use some crimp beads to secure it. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Et voila. So it's a real must have. It is a total essential. So if you do fancy it, there it was. Okay. Agate, ooh, this feels quite mattified. It feels really interesting. So we've got this lovely silvery gray color on your perfect rounds with that crackled effect. 
And it is, it is like um, almost like a frozen lake, isn't it? We've got 14 mil on these ones, so they are very sizable. The great thing about having the 14 mil is more often than not, you get a very large size drill hole, which these most certainly do have. We have got 460 carats worth here for you today in the 14 mil. Should be 7.95, but shoulda, woulda, coulda means I am out of time. Mm. Ooh, four pounds only. That's it, four pounds for you today on that beautiful strand. And to remember as well, you know, when you're doing um, your designs with, whether it be with cords, whether it be with wire, you know, just one of these can make a statement. You don't have to go whole hog with it if you don't want to. 14 uh, mil. I don't know why you going oink oink then, just made me giggle so much. But it did, I liked it. Uh, four <laughs> pounds for you today, if you do fancy grabbing it. Should we do a cat? <laughs> This is, oh, beautiful rose gold. Rose gold. Oh. Oh. This is beautiful. It's like it's having a little yawn, a little stretch, isn't it? Genuine rose gold on sterling silver. If I do a quick whoop, you're going to be able to see on its tail, it states that it is 925. Turn it back around for you. He does, he looks like he's a baby about to pounce, whoa, on a, you know, some wool or something <laughs> like that, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's got that kind of feel to it. We are bringing to you solid rose gold with solid sterling silver. It's a really nice, um, sort of elegant shape actually isn't it when you think about the the smoothness of the lines with this I think it looks very very elegant don't you it does it's got that um kind of flowing form about it and um, we are bringing oh this is going nice with the morgan I actually oh bonjour that looks nice I really like that together and I wouldn't normally show rose gold with Morganite, to be totally honest, because I think sometimes it can distract from the colour. But that Morganite is such good quality. I think that works. £6.95 is today's deal. And today's deals are just going to keep on coming left, right and centre. We've got oodles coming up. We really do. Um, do not forget, I've got your nephrite coming up. Let's go. Um, oh. Hey, hey, slices of your agate. I've got two here. You might get three, you might get one big one. Should be 14 95 It's got the element of the druzy in the center of these. Isn't that amazing that that's how Mother Nature forms the gemstones? Five ninety. Oh, do you know what? That's worth grabbing. Definitely worth grabbing. Treat yourself to it. That is, you know, you could have it as if you're into your feng shui, if you're into your crystal healing, then just have it. Just have it as is. But of course, you know, depending on what size you get, you could do sort of a um, wire work prong set with something like this and have that on like an opera length necklace, you know, and go for that kind of boho chic vibe with these ones 5.95 for specimens like that is a very very good price and i will just remind you that they're natural as well so more often than not when you get slices like this they will be dyed but these ones aren't at all that is completely and absolutely the real deal oh that's beautiful it really is I have got so much coming up for you in the show today. I know that I've got your Nephrite um, Jade coming up. I've also got serious amounts of creativity. In the next kit, I'm going to be offering to you a number of different kits so you can choose what colorways you like and pair them together. I've also got a number of DVDs coming up for you in that next hour as well. Plus, we've got the wonderful Hannah Osborne. She is going to be doing a live on air uh, demonstration for us as well. So all of that is to come. So go make yourself a brew. Hey, it's Friday night. Grab yourself a wine if you want and join us back on the other side of this break.
Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. 
Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Christmas. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome back to Jewelry Maker. It's gorgeous to be with you today, and particularly as I'm joined by the wonderful oh, Hannah Osborne. Thank you. Hannah, it's always gorgeous to work with you, but especially when you bring these festive treats. Well, I love Christmas, so it's it's perfect for me. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Um, for anyone who doesn't know you, Hannah, you are a guest designer, but you also work behind the scenes, don't you? Tell us yeah. a little bit about your team and your job role. Um, so I'm in the kit team. So we're uh, we're in, we're headed by Claire, and then there's myself and Georgia, and then there's Laura as well. So Georgia and I and Claire all make kits, and Laura is kind of like she's a bit like mom. She keeps us all in order. <laughs> um, uh, and then uh, we also have the buying team. So that so we've kind of sit on opposite sides of the desk to them so we've got trying to remember in order so we've got Caroline, Victoria, Katie and now Gemma yeah and then heading us all up is Marie. So the reason I'm asking you that is because it's really important that the kit team work alongside the buying yeah. team um, so you know what's coming in etc. Also to ask are you ever tempted when something brand new comes in to just go, I will put that in my own <laughs> kit, thank you very much? A lot of people ask me that, but truthfully, no, I don't get to choose what I get. No. Uh, but I can smile sweetly at Victoria when she's got these beads in and saying, if there's anything going, I'm in. I'm, I'm here. here. <laughs> and the reason I'm saying that is because there's the seed bead shape that you've not worked with before yeah, the yeah. the preciosa should i say the shape that you've not worked with before tell us a little bit about what made you collate this kit please um well first i don't think this one's a preciosa i think they're just oh check no, sorry beads. they're the check beads aren't um, they yeah but um because um i'd never seen them before i think uh was it patty that had them before yes patty McCourt, patty McCourt. Who's, is like a legend in seed beading hmm. um and so when it was handed to me, I thought, well, I want to try and do something different with them. Yeah. Uh, so because it was Christmas, I, I like making baubles for the Christmas tree. Uh, and I just thought these colours look fantastic. They're sort of ethereal, aren't they? Really completely. lovely. They um, really are. Yeah. And uh, it, I, I just sort of, I'm completely seduced by colour, really. So mm. I, I'm, I just go wherever the colour takes me. <laughs> and you can totally, totally see that in your designs. Definitely. They are so colour focused. And when you're looking at the white bauble, for example, that yeah. has these sort of iridescent they, check yeah, beads, they it do. adds. So this, so this one, I'd actually, um, because I was sort of experimenting with flint beads to start with, mm. um, I'd actually used beads out of my stash and then thought, right, I've got this great idea, I want, I want to do baubles. Yeah. Um, but couldn't get exactly the right beads, so I've, I've gone sort of for similar kind of colours. Yeah. Um, but I just really like the fact that you can make this, this kind of, completely different sort of style and shape and I don't know it's just different I've never seen anything quite like it so I quite like it. Do you that. know what it's a very expensive looking make. Thank you. Very expensive That's looking. Nice. The type of thing <laughs> that genuinely I can imagine walking in and seeing decks out in liberties and that type of thing. Oh my gosh I'll pay you later. Yeah. Thank no you. <laughs> genuinely it's stunning isn't it. I am offering to you the Jack Frost collection that helped create that bauble you've just looked at there first. So let me bring you the opportunity may I. The graphics are live. I've got less than a hundred of this kit I'm afraid to say and it, we have a feeling this one's going to be very very popular indeed because of all the iridescences. Let me tell you exactly what you're getting. You're getting the 
flint pendant beads, the chalk white luster, the crystal full aurora borealis, a hundred of each of these mind. You're also getting the crystal labrador full um, with the crystal uh, vitriol light. So that's the ones that I'm, um, I'll show you across them, but you're getting kind of the purple flash ones here. And then you've got more of the sort of pink and blue flash ones as well. So essentially when we talk about the Labrador, we mean the silver, so you can use them that side, but these ones have got that um, wonderful kind of iridescence. And if I show you a different colorway as well, this is the one next to it. Oh, easier said than done. There we go. Uh, you can see you've got sort of more of the ice kind of colors in these ones. Sticking with that as a theme, we're going icy white with the opaque white 11 O's. And then we're gonna be bringing to you the blue lined crystal luster 11 O's in those as well. This is a multi buyer's dream. This is very, 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 very popular. <laughs> so, Let's give you a deal and a half, shall we? So of the flint beads, I'm bringing you 400. I am then bringing you hundreds of these little beads in the 11 O's. We'll give you a drop down deal, only 19.95 for a kit. And that is so, <laughs> there is so much in here. There really is. I mean, these things are beautiful because like some of them have got like the, the, the sort of the, the one color on one side yeah. and then a, a slightly different color on the other. So they, they're kind of reversible and flip around. Yeah. That particular design, they, they, they deliberately kind of move and sway so if you were to adorn your Christmas tree with uh, fancy baubles like this then it's really going to catch the light and kind of twinkle at you from you know from the other side of the room so I, I love them they're like they're like um, you know bubble kind of uh, the surface of a bubble I and know you, and you've you got mean. all those colors yeah but sometimes they're more pinky and sometimes they're more blue and sometimes they're just sort of like that lovely sort of I don't know, almost greeny white colour. Ben, um, could I be a real pain? Yeah. Do you mind handing to me one of the um, brand new Umbra stands oh, that we've got coming up, up tomorrow? Because I, because you're talking about it hanging and twinkling, and I'm yeah. like, I want to see they, it. They do. Which I one? want to see it. Whichever one you fancy. I pop tried it to chops. post something on my <laughs> Facebook page. And I don't know if it uploaded or not because it was it was having a bit of a tantrum at me earlier. But I, I tried to, and, and I'd got two together and I was trying to spin them and hold them hold them up but I don't know if it worked I haven't checked <laughs> you haven't looked back let no. me have a little look because I want to see this spin I want to look at, I mean it's so expensive looking it really really is just look at that that is truly stunning isn't it <laughs> and you can see it just grabs the light beautifully on all of those little flowers and you can see all of the way that that craftsmanship has added real 3d effect hasn't it yeah i mean i, I just like the fact it's a bit different you know and if you can craft something yourself then no one else is going to have it are they no and there's a lot of beads on there as well. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Well done, multi-buyers. There's more of you adding. I've got multi-buyers in the city of Bristol and also in Bristol and in North Yorkshire. Multi-buyers left, right and centre. This is serious value for money, isn't it? I, I really think it is because you've got effectively four different colours of feature beads and then two like big tubes of seed beads. Yeah. It's just astonishing. It really, truly is. It's magical, mirable, isn't it? Do you know what I mean about the likes of Liberties and stuff like that? I could really, really see this. It's a very, very, very expensive, high-end shop. It's just divine. I love it, love it, love it. And I think so do you. Names have gone off the bottom of my screen now, which means there are many, many, many of you purchasing this. So if you do fancy it, please do be quick off the mark. Um, info's at the bottom of your screen on how to get involved. And just a reminder, 400 of the flint beads and then you've got the white and the gold as well. Should we swap? Yeah, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you the, the Fantasia bauble. Let's go Fantasia. There we go. So this one, oh. actually, I wasn't sure quite how it was going to turn out until I'd actually put it together. And then I realised that there is, um, there's, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention other designers work, but there's a particular designer by the name of Orla Keely who, who makes some fabulous sort of... Um, Sort of like well, she does fabrics and right. homewares and things like that, and she's got a similar sort of pattern. And I wasn't trying to copy that, but having put that together, I thought, oh, it's that's reminding me of mimic. something. And I think what... I think that's what I'm thinking. Isn't that amazing? But yeah, because the, the the flint beads, you can move them around. So I've I've made them sit up like opposite, opposite. each other. Yeah, yeah, different. But directions. you could have them sitting sort of proud, like like a, a like um 
I want to say like um, a, a dinosaur spikes or something, you know, down, down yeah, its back. Yeah, I get you. You can have them straight out. Like a Mohican almost. Yes. Festive Mohican. There Festive you know, Mohican. I mean, it's an odd one, but yeah. hey, each to their own. Um, I am offering to you now the Fantasia collection. So tell us a little bit about where this colour palette came from for you. Um, this one, I, I just, I really love these ones. I think that I think they're called something like Slipperit or something really unusual. Okay. And I love the colours within it. Yeah. So I thought, I wonder if we've got any other colourways that, that will sort of really enhance that and pull those colours through. Yeah. Um, and this is what I came up with. So I, I went for a black for a bit of drama, and then there's like sort of a. a it's not a flat purple because it's got like a shimmer to it, but there's there's a purpley colour, there's a bluey colour, mm. there's a black, and then this amazing, like, multicoloured one. Magical I just think they look lot. fantastic together. I, really, I love the colours. And because I've managed to find... I went to my local um, garden centre and everywhere's gone Christmassy, so you can yes. buy... Um, oh, highly sorry. recommended shatterproof baubles because uh, ah. uh, as I found out previously with my ginkgo baubles I managed to drop one ah. just before the DVD filming as oh, well so that, my... was, that, was, a, that oh. was a last minute panic <laughs> so oh. shatterproof baubles bless you um, and I managed to pick up some purple ones and I thought oh my gosh it's going to look amazing that's going to work so well I've with got it. a peacock themed Christmas tree <gasps> um I've got two. I'm greedy. I've got I've got one in the sort of kitchen area. My husband's not very happy about it. <laughs> but one one goes in the Christmas uh, in the kitchen area, and that's the peacocky one because the kitchen itself is kind of kingfisher blue coloured. Yeah. I've got quite a loud house. Uh, and then and then the traditional one is in the lounge. So that's the red, gold, and green. So so this would look great. I'm a kingfisher. Oh my fisher, gosh! I'm, like I think peacock. I'm going to have to steal that peacock tree idea. Yeah, absolutely. I think I'm going to. I'll show you some pictures later. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. That's so up my street. Yeah. I am bringing to you your Fantasia <laughs> collection. We think of Fantasia, we think of magic, we think of music, and we think of colour and light, and that is exactly what we've got in this kit. A uh, big selection again. Your chalk white, your um, uh, your jet pieces, your amethyst, your light in. Indigo, sorry, your matte indigo. You've got oodles going on in here. And today for you, another great deal, £19.95. Yes, you still get 100 of the flint bead. I think this is a very decadent, very rich looking, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a sort of a, a more opulent sort of uh, approach. Well, not that the white one isn't opulent, but it's it's that the deeper sort of bejeweled yeah. look, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very regal. It's very royal. It's very rich. Absolutely. Again, very expensive. All of these look so expensive. They truly, truly do. Um, so that is $19.95. Oh, just look. It looks beautiful with that um, nephrite at the bottom of the screen, doesn't it? Those colours and that nephrite. Ooh, it works. The nephrite's coming up for you in approximately 46 minutes, 32 seconds-ish. Ish. Um, so yeah, not long to wait on that one at all. The, I have got another colourway to come. I've got DVDs. Yes, we're going to have a demo. Do not ye worry. Um, it's all on its way right now. So let's do the formal switch over now. So it's like changing of the guard. Oh, no, changing of the ball. Oh my <laughs> gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> do you know what it reminds say... me of? Chris Dingle? You know, Chris Dingle, the time of year you get your oranges and With you the, stick yeah, your sweets like the in them, the candle. I have to say, when I, when I saw the photography that um, the lovely Sam did for, for us on this, that's exactly what I thought. When I saw it, it's like, it looks like that, doesn't it? It looks like really it's one does. of those oranges that's been decorated. Totally. And, oh, loved it. So thanks, Sam. <laughs> oh, it looks amazing, doesn't it? It almost looks like a magical hot air balloon, oh, you know, from like the yes. 50s, doesn't you it? Could, like yeah, a vintage. you could imagine the little basket hanging off the and bottom. And you could do you could that. that. That would be you great. You could do a little beaded basket from the bottom. And then have like a little chocolate, tree chocolate or something, just yes. sitting in the basket. I'm so going to do oh that. Oh my gosh, Hannah, <laughs> you always, you always make me feel so creative whenever oh, I'm on show I with you. It. Always, always. <laughs> uh, okay, let me tell you what you're getting in here, shall I? Yes, let's. I have got all these seed beads for you. Two different colours of your seed bead packs, remember. I am bringing to you, hang on, am I looking at the right ones here? Is that the right kit? Um, have you got the 11s? It should be. Chalk white champagne luster. Oh, uh, yeah. So they've got some strange names to them. It's all to do with like the different <gasps> colours that they, they um, that the beads start Start with. life off. Oh, yes, yeah. I can see. It'll be so these ones, won't it's it? It's probably ah, those. Yeah, yeah. Those ones. Hang on. 
So I'm bringing to you your chalk white champagne, eh? <laughs> I've also got your chalk white full apricot. Um, I've got for you as well your crystal amber, and I've got your capri gold. And then the seed beads, I've got your metallic gold iris in the 11 O's and your olive gold luster as well. There's plenty again going on in here, isn't there? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I, I really love the, like, again, it's kind of autumnal, but it's also festive because it's like you say, it, it does look like, well, Chris Tingle, is, yes. if that's its actual name. Yeah, so yeah. you've taught me something there. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's absolutely beautiful, this colour palette. It feels vintage and it does almost, it's almost got that kind of round the world in 80 days, 19... Fog. Yeah, fog. yeah, Phineas Phineas fog. Fog. yeah. That kind of look to it. And I think that is partly due to the design, but also I do think it is because of the colours. The colours feel vintage. They feel very exotic. Um, I'm bringing to you £24.95 on these ones today. Um, remember, the seed bead tubes themselves with these ones you've got the added effects to them which may well be why the price of the kit is slightly higher um that could well be the reason why and yeah, of course you've got the coatings yeah. on the actual flints as well haven't you as well oh just look at that <laughs> oh my gosh i love it and do you know what else i love how when those go flat on you can't see them yeah, no, you, you can't really. They, they sort of disappear until, until it spins round and then you, and then you get and the flash of colour. And then you see it. That could be an album cover, Ben, for you and your wow. band. That's so cool. <laughs> Should we have a demo? Go on then, go on then. Let me just remind you, um, it's the three different uh, kits, the three different colour palettes. I've got DVDs and more to come. But for now, I am with you, lovely Hannah. And we're getting a bit magical with Fantasia, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I thought, I thought I'd just do that one. I'm just going to sort of say, because I'm sure somebody's going to ask what size these baubles are. Okay, yeah. So they are an eight centimetre or 3.1 inch um, diameter, I assume. Okay, bauble. Um, just, just so you know what they are. And obviously you can adapt the design to fit whatever bauble size you've got. Got you. Okay, so I'm gonna start off. I have got, uh, because I've measured this to fit those baubles, you probably need to tweak your design to make sure it fits whatever baubles you're using. Okay. Um, so I've got 40 of the 11 O beads mm -hmm. to start with. And I'm just gonna make a little loop with those. If I'm not in a knot with my thread. Put me where I need to be, yeah, yeah. Holiday wire form set coming up at the end of this hour, by the way. Hang on, I've lost my Oh, is that the really cool star thing I was Where looking at before? Oh, I love them. There we go. Right, so I'm just, I've got to stop a bead there as well. That's just so they don't all fall off the end. Okay, so I'm just going to go round in a loop to start with. And pop that all the way through there. So I've got, uh, I think this... I think this is either a size 10 or a size 11 tulip be, uh, needle that I'm using. Oh, well, I've got needles today. Yeah, okay. Mm. And I'm also using uh, an eight pound fire line, but you can you can use any of the threads if you like, really, but um, I, I quite like the fire lines and the, um, the wildfires. Just and why do you personally go for the tulip needles? Um, <laughs> Well, I, th I think it's just what, like, what you get used to using. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm quite happy with some of the other beading needles as well, but mm. these, these ones, are, they're a bit more, um, well, I guess rigid is the word. Yeah, they've got so a bit more about got them, a bit more they? sort of strength to mm. them. Um, and they're, they're actually a little bit easier to thread, I think, as well. So I think that's to do with the way that they're um, Actually, you've got the two-tone colour on the top yeah, of them, haven't you? Yeah, I have got some tulip needles in the show. Lovely. Right, so once you've got your little loop... Um, I'm then going to make um, sort of like a little petal effect. So that um, you need to make sure fits around the top of your bauble, whatever, mm. whatever you're working with. Pop that on there so it doesn't roll away, hopefully. Oh, top tip, egg cups work wonderfully if you're working with baubles and don't want them to roll off the desk as well. Top tip. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back through in a loop mm -hmm. and go back through two of the beads in the central ring there. Okay. So you're actually making a petal of 18 beads collectively. So if I go like that, so 16 that you've added and two that are in the main circle. Then I'm going to pass the needle through five beads that are on the central ring there. Got you. 
pull that through. And then I'm going to pick up another 16. Whilst you're counting those 16, let me show you what's on your screen now. <clears throat> Swarovski sparkles, because come on, it's Christmas. Sparkle, sparkle everywhere. Let's do it. Let's get brilliantly jangling with light. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> it's like your favourite <laughs> Christmas poem. <laughs> I am bringing to you serious amounts of your Swarovski. You've got your Silver Knight, your Swarovski Smoke Topaz, and your Purple Velvet, which I've got to say, with the Fantasia kit, is so seductive. It really is going to work perfectly. Bringing it to you today, all of them, you're getting 48 in each pack. 48 of each colour, if you will. These ones as well. They are. Just eleven pounds and fifty-five pence. That is one hundred and forty-four in total. <coughs> Eight pence per sparkle. So feel free to grab them and back Brilliant. with you. Okay. So just to show you that I'm coming back through with the the second petal there. So you should have three beads in in between each petal. So you carry on. You do that all the way round, and you should end up with something that looks like that. Okay which is rather sweet. And then you want to make a second one of those as well. So I'm just going to take that off there. And bring that one back into play. So what these do, they become the top and the bottom section of your bauble. Got you. Um, and then for this particular one, I think I counted earlier that I'd got 23 of the um, flint beads in, in the downward strut. So what you, all you've got to do is just make sure that um, from the beads, you're going to always have a join of two when when you come up and down. Just remember that you need two at the top. So you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably go through nine of your beads to start with, then add these on. So I'm going to go straight for the flint bead, and then I'm going to alternate it with the 11 O's. But all you need to do is remember to get them the same way round. So by that, I mean this. So if you put one on that's the wrong way round, it's probably still gonna be pretty, but you'll get a different pattern. It, it, I don't know if you can see that, it kind, it kind of, it makes like a little sort of pincer shape rather than the downward strut. Mm. So I'm just gonna add these on. So, hang on. Probably easier if I just pick them up and count them one at a time and then thread loads together. Okay. So four. So remind us how many five, you count him. Yeah, 23. 23, I okay. think. 23. <laughs> Just to let you know, whilst we're Seven. counting 23. Sold this out first time it was on air. It's not been back since, but it is today. This is such a cool project. Well, numerous projects. I'm going to be bringing this to you at the end of this hour. You can use all of those seed beads. Have you ever bought a kit that's got seed beads in it and actually you're not a seed beader? If you have, perfect use for them. I'll bring that to you at the end of this hour. Also, whilst you're there, as a little reminder, Rooney, Jade, not on pre-order. People have messaged in asking. We're so sorry. We've got just shy of 50 of them, so we know full well that if we put this on pre-order they would sell out before we get to bring them to air and some people who maybe have you know tuned in specifically to see these at eight would be really disappointed if they missed out so we can't put them on pre-order please do forgive us but i promise it's going to be worth the wait and it's not even that long of a wait actually let's whilst uh, you're still counting Thank let you. me bring you <laughs> no problem let me bring you some more swarovski if i may oh these are magic colors did you get Spellbinding Laura Bindings Unicorn DVD? If so, imagine these in the unicorn horn. That's going to be good, <laughs> isn't it? Do you reckon that's what unicorn sounds like? Maybe. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are bringing to you Simply Sparkles. And we have got for you four mil on these ones. So they're much larger than to the ones, the other ones. Um, 48 in each pack you're getting here. It's pretty incredible, that. 13 pounds and 95 pence. And these are the larger ones. You're still getting the 140-ish or whatever it is. But 100 
144 approximately. Um, 10 pence per one. There you go. Lots of sparkle, lots of shine. Not a lot of pennies. Hannah, you've counted. I have. I think, I, I think I've got to 23. Okay. Okay, so at this point, they're all, they're all going to sit um, in the same direction. But like, well, they might not, but that's how I've chosen to put them at the moment. Yeah. Then you're going to get your other one. So this is going to be the, the bottom of the bauble. And you're going to look for the middle two um, seed beads of your petal. Does it matter which petal? Uh, no, as, as long as when, once you start working, um, they correspond. So, oh, yeah. so that this one has to link to that one. Yes, got you. And that one has to link Perfect. to that one. Yeah. So I'm just going to pick that up. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. So let's have a look. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. There we go. Got one too far. And it's important to get that bit right because it will skew your pattern otherwise. So three, seven on that side. Three, six, seven on that side. And then two that I'm stitching through. Okay. So just passing that through there. And then with the last bead that you've got there, you're just going to pass the needle all the way back up the row and then through the opposite side of the two at the top. Okay. So it's almost like a little figure of eight or an elongated figure of eight. So you just got to make sure it passes through. Don't worry if you don't get through all of the beads at the same time. But it is easier if you do it while they're sort of flat. So you see they're all moving around, don't mm. worry, because you get to you get to position them once they're on the bauble. Whilst Hannah's going back through, if you're watching this going, ooh, I could watch this lady for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Let me introduce to you, Three Bead Fusion with the lovely Hannah Osborne. Um, this is working with three very popular beads that we have kind of quite recently started doing at Jewelry Maker, isn't it? Yeah, so they are um, the uh, exclusively uh, made by uh, Patty McCourt beads, so um, Octo's Callies and Spear beads. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was a bit of a privilege really to be able to, to make that at all. Mm. Um, but I was on, a, on a, I think it was the birthday show with the lovely lady herself. Yes. Um, and it was just interesting to see how, how sort of similarly or differently we, we work with the same beads. So, mm. um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a way of making component pieces and then turning them into um, either a big piece of jewellery or using the components individually and mm. making sort of like a pendant or the centre of a bracelet or whatever mm. you fancy. It's a really good way of getting your head around quite unusual shapes that you might maybe have only worked with one as individuals, but with this you can do them with quite a few. If you want to grab it, you absolutely can now. You have got your three bead fusion DVD, your price points for about an hour's worth of information. Roll into four pounds and 95 pence for you today. That is all. So if you fancy grabbing it, now's your chance. Three bead fusion. I have got more DVDs coming up for you, don't forget, including one about baubles. Mm. I'm with you. <laughs> okay, so I've just brought it all the way back up to the top. At this point, you can sort the tension out here. So you, if you pull the end of the thread you're working with and, mm. the, and the, um, the daisy that sits at the other end of the bauble there, yeah. then it should just centralize you see, itself. Yeah. You, yeah, you can adjust it so you don't see too much thread down there. Right, on this one, we're just going to make sure we're going through the two beads at the top, but from the opposite side that the thread started. So okay. that, that sort of locks it into place. So if I'm just passing it through there, that should secure it itself. If you pull the tension tight, they will naturally move and spiral. That's fine. Don't worry, because again, you adjust it later. Then what we're going to do is we're going to work our way around this petal until we come back to, down to the central um, circle. Passing it through if I can. I suspect this may be where the knot is, which is typical. So passing it through there. Let me just see if I can go that way. I feel like the knot may be in there. No, nope, there we go. And what I'm trying to do is get to the next petal along and then you're going to work your needle around until you're at the outermost point again remembering that you want two beads on the outer edge. So if I get down to here, 
nearly there. So let's just check. Just make sure that all your um, components are sitting flat and in the right orientation. You don't want too many twists in there. So there should be seven beads before you get to your thread. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two short. So we need to move that out of the way. And then you pick your next colorway and you do exactly the same thing. So we're going to repeat that process with a different color. And I'm going to take it down to the corresponding petal. Okay. Because if you, if you think about it, when, once you've got it together, that's the, the bottom and that's the top. Got you. Like that. So yeah. it, has, it has to fit all the way around. See what I mean about the Mohican? Yeah, totally. It's that's kind of cool, cool, isn't it? I like, yeah, I like it. that. So it is um, a repetitive process, as many of these things are, but it's just up to you how you do it. So what I did with the actual bauble, if I just borrow that a second, is I, well, if I, if I do it like that, you can see I've, I've made the colours like sort of sit opposite each other. So ah, when it yeah, spins okay, round, yeah. there, there'll always be a different colour coming next. That's cool. Which I thought was quite sweet. That's lovely. Yeah, so you see the reverse mm. again, the little... Thank you so, so, so much. It's very simple. But <laughs> stunning. It looks Thank so you. expensive and lavish. Remember... If you want to do that in that colourway, that one was Fantasia collection. You had the Jack Frost collection, which was the white bauble with all those flowers on. And then mm -hmm. you had this one as well, which, um, what was this the one called? Woodland. Oh, oh, yeah. Draped gold. There you go. Because it's just making me think <laughs> Chris Dingle now, basically. So you could make that bauble in any of those colourways. So you, don't, you, you could make of course, any course of those could. designs, and then later on, of course you could. Um, I might I might explain how you do the other bauble designs rather than the earrings that I was going to do, if that's all right. And then if people, fine. people can make whatever they like. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Um, do you want to have Hannah in your living room? Oh, or maybe kitchen? <laughs> maybe. Your craft room. Good, I was gonna, I was gonna go bathroom and I was where, like, don't where, say where bathroom. Are where are we going? Craft room, good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, because the lovely Hannah is in DVD form with this introduction to the Preciosa tea beads. If you don't know what the tea beads are, um, they are T-shapes. They are. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it's, it's really not that complex. <laughs> they are T-shaped beads. Um, they are the shape of a capital letter T, and you show us how to work with them in this design, yeah. in this DVD, don't you? Yeah, so this one, I mean, I, I wasn't sure whether, the, other than the, a capital T, where the name was from, but they were saying, actually, it's because it, of um, golf tees. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I think that's where it originally um, got its name from, because yeah. they looked a bit like that. Yeah, um, there they are. But, yeah, too. again, so the, these are some fabulous beads, and um, it's just a way of working them into more sort of three-dimensional designs. So yeah. you can use them for, um, you could do like simple netting and then attach beads like a fringe if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I got quite into making sort of beads out of beads or, or sort of like little flowers out of beads. And, yeah. and actually, I think they're quite effective. They really are. Mm. You go through a lot. There we are, look. There's oh us. my gosh, I look so much younger there. <laughs> Even though that was it wasn't uh, that, long that ago. was a couple of months ago. <laughs> but wow. Uh, launched in July. So yeah, gosh, I've gosh, these last <laughs> four months have taken their toll. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, there's loads and loads and loads of makes that you're going to get caught, taught in this DVD. <clears throat> And we have got for you um, a really useful collection here. Um, so if you fancy grabbing it, it's just £4.95. That is all. Well done, one and all. Okay, let's bring to you 25 minutes from the Neff, right? Several minutes from the Make It Yourself Cool Christmas kit, which is eight. Should we do some stars, Tom? Yes, let's. Oh, I like these ones. Geometric stars. Oh, they're cute, aren't they? These are beautiful. I think yeah. these are really pretty. Here you go. Again, geometric. They're everywhere. Remember, if you love 
a bit of geometric. Tomorrow I've got Umbra on the mid show and we're launching some brand new ones that we've not brought to you before. Um, so that's coming up for you in, uh, in between like one and, and a half, <laughs> two, I'd say. So yeah, whilst we're talking of geometrics, let's bring you some geometrics. These are beautiful five point stars that we've got here for you and they are solid sterling silver. I really like the star as a motif. I think it is, it is one of the most expressive shapes of the natural world in my opinion so for example you know hearts signify to me love love whether that be for your partner your friends you know whatever it might be um flowers to me represent you know the outdoors represents um and beauty etc but stars represent so much more to me personally i think of wishing upon a star I think about um, stars as ancestors. I think about the people who you have in your life who are stars. I think about people who maybe work as part of the emergency services, NHS, etc., who are maybe stars in their field. I think about, um, you know, reaching for the stars as well. I absolutely love all that these um, mean and all that these can kind of show together. And the fact that they're precious metal as well, I think, adds extra luxury. We're bringing them to you at $5.95 today. If you would like them in a wish bracelet as well and you're thinking, oh, I'd prefer it if they didn't have that hanging point on the top, simply take it off. Give a quick file down, and obviously these sections in the middle are open, so you could add your cord to this to take it straight into a center sitting star, if that makes sense, as opposed to using that top loop. But of course, it's absolutely up to you. Hi Dorset, thanks for joining us. Oh, Cheshire, I left Cheshire this morning with me, gorgeous puppy birthday uh, pal. Um, sorry, you're in. We've got Greater <laughs> London in as well. Well done, everyone on those. Okay, I'm moving to... Oh, 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 wow. Please tell me the price of these. I don't. <laughs> I don't guess the price. Okay, that price you've just told me, I, at a fair... Do you know what? Not even that one. The smallest one. Come here, friend. The price I've just heard, I would pay for this one here. Heart. What was our first hour, Becky? Asks Tom. Um... Under twenty pounds. Is he joking? No. Oh my god. Can I show you this one as well? The price I've just heard, I'd be happy to spend on that one alone. But look, the larger version. Gosh, you have some beautiful. Look at that heart. Eighteen ninety-five. These are going to sell out. This is a one hundred pound parcel. Fact. Totally. If you love your parcel of gemstones, I've got a parcel of citrine coming up on Sunday. Actually, Sunday mid show. If you do fancy it. Under £20 for you today. If you want to grab it, you have got to be quick off the mark on these ones. Three o'clock, we've got that £20 deal for you. If you uh, on your screen right now, and as I say, the citrine is coming up for you on the Sunday. This is a £100 parcel, without a shadow of a doubt. I have got crisp, clean, beautiful qualities. It's next level wonderment that you've got here. It's fantastic. Absolutely amazing. I can't believe that. I really, really, really can't. Think, yeah. It's incredible. I'll count up how many I've got here for you. I've got two hearts. I've got two brilliant round cuts. Um, I have got oval cuts. I've got a princess cut. And I've got a drop as well. They've gone, they've gone, they've gone. And I am not surprised. Remember, three o'clock on Sunday for those citrine. It's going to make you smile, I think. What I'm bringing to you now, I just want to ensure everyone's on an equal footing with this. In the industry, in the trade, at the Tucson Fair, which happened in, earlier on this year, sort of January time, um, at the Tucson Fair, people were referring to this gemstone in a new way. They were talking about this gemstone differently. We were being offered um, imperial dioxide for the first time realizing later that it is now the industry standard official name change for chrome dioxide 
The reason this is now referred to as imperial diopside as opposed to chrome diopside in the industry, in the trade, is because the mine has been closed for four years, and when it gets to a point of five years, that is then classified as imperial. Bit like imperial alexandrite. Remember when alexandrite went imperial? We know full well, and the industry have been made very aware of this, that it has been closed for four years, and there is a minimum of four years still. We have been told that, the industry has been told that, we got told it by um, Dmitry, who is our connection in the uh, Russian region. Four years as a minimum before the mine reopens on this. Minimum. It is one of the scarcest gemstones that we actually have in our vault now. Imperial diopside, and this strand, I have to say, is an exceptional quality one. Just look how open that is. You can see why it's called the million dollar emerald, can't you? Wow. Okay, I don't have hundreds of any imperial diopside, I have to say. Um, so if you do want to grab it, then I would strongly suggest you do. If you're wondering, how on earth do you know, Becky? How on earth do we know that you've got, you know, four years as a minimum? Because of our connections with the Imperial uh, Mine and with the mine owner there, because of our connections, we've been made aware of this and it's purely based on the fact that the weather essentially made the um, mining region impossible to mine and then we've had to change the way in which we now mine it which means that for the first time ever we're going to have to bury into the ground to build an infrastructure tunnel which goes underneath the ground it has to follow the seam which is at a 45 degree angle so basically we have to go in dig it put scaffolding up, if you will, to actually make it uh, um, workable, usable. That alone will take a minimum of four years. But at that point, we won't obviously be getting it out of the ground. And also remember, that isn't for full... You might think, surely you can do that in a couple of months. Well, first off, it's very difficult uh, land. And second off, remember, we can only get there a couple of months of the year anyway. So yeah, you probably would be able to do it in 12 months worth. But actually... That is going to take us four years. We have got something exceptionally rare here. Your price point on screen right now is a steal of a deal. I know very well that there have been people who, dealers who have sold this, gone back to the people they've sold it to and said, I will pay you double that because they've now heard the minimum of four year wait. That's a 100 pound reduction. Seize the moment. Nobody else, and I repeat, nobody else would be doing that kind of price drop knowing the situation on this as it stands. Imperial diopside, a minimum of four years wait. And you never know, it could be longer than that. Four years is something which has been put as a, as a sort of guideline. This is an incredible opportunity. When this mine went down, when this mine closed, I remember standing in this studio and saying, we've been told 2020 to 2021, we're hoping it will be back open. And you probably thought, Bex, that's a bit far off. That's a bit too much. Well, actually, it's been extended even further now. Um, it really is one of those sort of hindsight's 2020. Grab it whilst you can. Two of them left, two in the whole company. Just to let you know, we cannot repurchase this at the same prices at all because prices had literally tripled within the space of a few months. Two left, that was it. Good luck all. Okay, I'm moving on now to offer... Oh, hang on, there's nothing in there. Twelve. No, I've, it's hiding. I've got it. I've got it. Oh, my. We've got one. Okay, it's Tanzanite. Now is the time to buy Tanzanite. It's December's birthstone, of course. And I am bringing to you a guaranteed three-pack, all cut, stunningly. Is it just me, or is that AAA grade? That colour and that sparkle and that interest internally. <laughs> that is a steal. Wow. Let me remind you, Tanzanite 1 is still closed. The main mine for this is still closed. It's a government closure. The government may well keep it closed for another day or another decade. It really genuinely cannot be told. Tanzanite 1, the biggest mine, is closed. That means that all of the little independent um, ones haven't now got this huge company to battle with, which has basically meant they've gone, ha ha, biggest competition's out of the way. Thanks very much. Let's up our prices. It has been one of the 
biggest price increases we've seen since you know um that few years ago when all of that happened and there was a 600 percent increase like over the week let's go to massagate <laughs> oh i love this shape oh my gosh i didn't realize it was this shape on the picture this is so cool i've not seen those ones looks like woo. nice woo. if you like unusual shapes and you like the swirl idea look at that that kind of works well doesn't it as well <gasps> okay Hannah I need to use a part of your brain what <laughs> how could I pair these two together please uh, well, I think looking at all the shops and everything at the moment, there's a, a lot of sort of autumnal tones out there. Agreed. So there are things like uh, like a, a tan brown or there's like a mustard yellow. Yes, agreed. Um, and forest greens. Mm -hmm. Any of those colours would pull those together. Mm -hmm. um, I think black you can put with anything anyway. It's sort of such True. a punctuation mark, isn't it, really? Yeah, I love um, that. <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, you could either pick your favourite tones and just like single those out or you could just mix them all up. It depends on... Um, how flamboyant you're feeling. What you fancy. I'd, I'd definitely mix them up. Yeah, why not? Also, can I please point out, those seed beads in between are not seed beads, they are agate. Okay. So that's cool, isn't it? Double whammy. Should be 28 pounds and 95 pence. Now that's not bad for one, two, three, four, five, six pendants and six perfect rounds, is it? But 13.95 is just a wee bit better. I think we can all agree. If you fancy grabbing them, now is your chance. And just see how beautiful the quality of them is as well. Really beautiful. It's going to go very nicely with your nephrite. Ah! <laughs> nephrite. <laughs> People are messaging in saying, can we please have it on pre-order? Tom is saying, no, I'm so sorry, we can't. We're not being Grinches. <laughs> it's because we know that it will sell out before we get to eight and we've got to make it fair for everyone. So it's not a long way at all. We're looking at, a little, well, less than 15 minutes. So do stay where you are and we will make it worth your while. Shall we get crafty? Shall we get creative? Do you know what? I love, as you know, I love my crafts. Absolutely do. And, um, I don't know if this is just me, but sometimes I love being able to sit down and really do like a long craft that might take a few nights that I come back to now and again. But other times I want something that I can get it out, get the colours I want and just sit, make for an hour or two, maybe whilst I'm watching Corrie in the background or whilst I've got the stew in the slow cooker. And I like to make something that when you come out with it at the end, you go, actually, that looks really, really cool. I love that. Yeah. Sounds and good. then maybe you want to revisit and do another one the next night, etc. If that is the type of crafting you're sometimes into, you are going to love this style by. <laughs> This is the type of craft that even a crafter who's not actually a crafter, they're a hidden crafter, they're a crafter that didn't even know they were a crafter, can craft. <laughs> Clear as mud, that, isn't it? <laughs> Have a little look. <laughs> this is your holiday wire form set. And it is for you to use with all of those seed beads or genuine gemstones that you've got knocking around at the bottom of your crafting set. Let me show you exactly what you're getting in here because they are purpose-made elements, for example. Let me show you. You're getting a star. You're getting a heart. You're also getting the bell shape. You then get your weaving wire, and then it is your opportunity to adorn these exactly how you want. So you can see that this simple star with a little bit of nails and some seed beads turned into quite an elaborate beaded design. Now, this is one of those crafts that could be for anyone. You know, so long as you sort of keep an eye on them, this is the type of crafts that you could do with your, you know, six-year-old, uh, you know, grandson, or, or you could do it with your, you know, you could even do something like this with your 18-year-old granddaughter, couldn't you? What I've got here is something that you can work and use yourself. And literally, all you need to add to this is the beads you want. Then you'll want to cut some of the wire, won't you? And then you want some round nose pliers. 
and that is it. Comes with really simplistic instructions um, with it as well uh, on the back. It gives you little tips as well on there as well for de design tips, sorry. There's oodles you can do with this, there really is. And today you're getting all three in the pack. It's from the wonderful Beadsmith, of course, who we all know and love. And we're gonna give you an under 10 pounds deal for three big pieces. Three pounds and 95 pence for you today on this one. That's what you're getting. It is, <clears throat> it was very, very popular on launch. Um, and as I say, it was it was a sellout on launch. So it's gorgeous that we've got it back in for you and we've been able to get another great deal for you, hence that price point on your screen. I think these are just so much fun. What do you like about this pack, please? Um, I think it's the simplicity. So my son is six and he absolutely loves crafting and wants to get involved. And if I sit there and I have to tell him, no, we can't touch because it's to do with work and... You know, it gets really annoyed with me. Um, so if there was something like that that I could say, actually, here you go. Yeah. Let's make these together. Yeah. I think he'd love it. Do you know what is great about these as well? They could be, to put them on your Christmas tree, you could use them as your door hangings, couldn't you? Could. You? you could even, this could be something quite nice for around your um, dinner table at, at uh, on, on Christmas Day or in the run-up to it. You know, each person gets one of these. And whilst you're off, because sometimes, you know, it's, it's inevitable that at some point on the run-up to Christmas, you've got your family, your friends over, and something's going to go slightly wrong in the kitchen, isn't it? It always happens. You're going to get an over-boiling pan or you realise that the turkey is still frozen or whatever. Something like this is a little bit of a time passer, you know, for everyone to enjoy around the table. Could be lovely. And of course, again, you could have it on like the kids' table, couldn't you, with the crafters if you wanted to. You could make your own crackers and put these inside, says Dan. Dan, I like the way your brain works. Yeah, of course you could. Do you know what else as well? Because you've got the three. So if you look at these three designs, really heavily beaded designs, you could actually link them all in together, couldn't you? So you could do maybe the heart at the top that could then, with the jump ring, go into the bell, which could then, with the jump ring, go into the star, and actually have that. I think that could look quite expensive on, like, a door, couldn't it? I think it would. It's, you know what? You could do this instead of the uh, the inevitable charades, couldn't you? Yes. It's like, it's like you get to the point where everyone's tired, but you think, oh, we ought to play a game. So yeah. Like, Let's do this instead. Let's do this. It keeps you quiet. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Three pounds and 95 pence for you. Hey, Jean and June, I've got Gillian in. Who are you getting this for? Um, uh, Margaret, um, Christina, Linda, hello, Deborah, Ma another Margaret. I've got Chrissy in, Yvonne, Heather, Angela, Janice, Sue, Mandy, Jenny, hello, welcome. Um, who are you getting it for? Is it for you? Are you going to multi purchase? Are you going to be getting it for someone in your family who, um, you know, you can make these for? I think it's great for as well any of those people who, as I mentioned before, if you've got a kit whereby maybe you had, you wanted the gemstone, but there was a random set of seed beads in there, and you're thinking, actually, I'm not really a seed beader, what am I gonna do with them? Use them on this. It's a great way to add a bit of extra use of what you've already got, isn't it, actually? And remember, um, you know, you can use your Swarovski with this as well if you wanted to. You could really go to town with it. These, as I say, are just ideas. You can go as mad and as wild as you want on these ones, can't you? You really can. I mean, I, I just like the fact that you can do anything you like. So if you, if you wanted to, you could perhaps use, you know, you get all those lovely um, sparkly ribbons and things on your Christmas presents. Yeah. You could incorporate those. You could have, like, Great idea. you know, just, just have like a, a crafty Christmas. Great idea. An upcycling crafty Christmas, yeah. maybe. I love that. Yeah. And you can, that's a great idea, yeah. using your different um, elements that... Um... Did you say 10 then, Poppet? Interesting. Um, sorry, sweetheart, that's not what I've got in there. Hang on. Uh, 10 and 11 are switched over. Uh -huh. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. 10 and 11 were having a little house swap. Ooh! Interesting to see bloodstone with translucency, but I have to say I love it with translucency. I think it makes what can be quite a foreboding stone a little bit more full of life. Yeah, but also, I mean, I like the fact because it's called bloodstone and it's kind of like that sort of, you know, almost like dragon claw yes. sort of shape. Yes. But, you, know, you could make some pretty cool Halloween-y stuff with that as well. Totally I mean, I know agree. we're doing Christmas today, but... We're quite close to Halloween, and I think I think you could make an, a, like an awesome kind of ne like necklace with it. Mm. And then if you're going out and you're dressed as a witch or something or yeah. a vampire, yeah, you know, it follows through, doesn't it? 
It's up phenomenal. On point. We have got for you 135 carats worth of your bloodstone for just £19 and 95 pence today. That's it. But yeah, they are. They've got a touch of the claws or the shields. I quite like the idea of them for reenactments, maybe with your jump rings. Chainmail, that's the uh. word. Um, <laughs> 19 95 is your deal on these ones today. They are just fab. Speaking of fab. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. I am going into the break. After this break, it's time to seize the moment. I am so sorry to say this, but I have got less than 50. It was a one-off purchase. It's coming up for you. Nephrite straight after this. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, I'm Linda, guest designer here at Jewelry Maker. And, hot off the press, I have just this minute finished filming my new DVD. And it's Russian babushka dolls. Babushka dolls being um, stylized by the uh, Russian dolls that you know one goes inside the other inside the other inside the other they're called nesting dolls i will teach you from start to finish the complete babushka doll at the same time i'll be giving you hints and tips on how to alter your designs change your designs change the shapes but trust me by the end of that dvd you won't be doing one babushka you'll be hooked and you'll probably have 10 if not more the babushka is being launched on sunday October the 13th morning show. I really hope you'll join us. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewellery Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging? Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. 
Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker and welcome to the time. You've been looking at the recording going round at the bottom of your screen <laughs> since the start of the show like this, haven't you? Oh, come on. It is absolutely stunning. I... I, 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 I have got for you a moment and a half, less than 50 is now available. We have got for you something very, very special indeed. Remember, this is a variety of jade. Remember, when we talk about jade and jadeite, we are usually bringing to you small pieces. These are million miles away from that. These are dynamic, workable. Check out that drill hole. Dynamic, workable pieces of your nephrite. Nephrite itself is an incredible gemstone, but it's a gemstone that ranges dramatically in color, much more than that actually of the jadeite. So you can sometimes get what's referred to as white nephrite, and white nephrite is just that, it's quite a flat, plain white gem. You can also get what's sometimes known as spinach nephrite, which is almost black. What I've got for you here is neither of those. It's got elements of both, but it is neither. It is fresh, exotic, beautiful, um, sort of green, and it is entirely unenhanced. Nephrite is treated so much more than jadeite is, but the fact that I'm bringing this to you in its beautiful raw form with those big sizable pieces is so special. Can I give you a piece of advice? Pick up the phone now and start dialing. Do you mind? We're gonna give you the opportunity to grab this any second now. Three, two, one. Graphics are now alive. There, it's your chance to go. I'm bringing it to you. We know this is gonna be popular. I'm getting 115 carats worth for you here. And you are getting your genuine, beautiful nephrite. As I've said, entirely natural. Mostly, uh, um, you know, nephrites are treated whether they're uh, bleached or whether they're heated or whether they're filled and impregnated with some um, sort of, um, it's like a, a glass-like substance. These are not, these are absolutely and completely the real deal. They've been used in history for over, you know, 5,000 years worth of history used for carvings and so much more. It's history, it's beauty, it's selling like hotcakes! <laughs> well done, okay, there's loads of you coming in for this. I'm gonna wish every single one of you look. I have now got less than 30, now less than 30. Good luck every single one of you. Your price point today, 115 carats, just 29.95, even though these are mammoth, mammoth pieces. They're absolutely gargantuan. And the fact of the matter is that that color you're getting is so open and so fresh and so beautiful. If you want to grab it, now is your chance. Please seize that moment. Well done, so Sussex, well done Devon, John O'Groats, you're in. Well done to you, Suffolk, Channel Islands, nice work. I've got uh, Moray in, Moray, hmm. I've got Kent in London, well done. I've got um, Hertfordshire, South Lancashire, well done. Sussex has just come through. I've got Cheshire, Nottinghamshire, well done. Greater London, West Midlands, you've just checked out as well. We have got 29.95 on these ones. And let's face it, they are truly, truly astonishing, aren't they? They really are. You know, when you're looking at them just look at how fresh and open and stunning that is and it is a genuine piece of 
ginormous nephrite. We wouldn't be able to bring you jadeites of this kind of size. Um, and if we were, they would be triple figures. You are getting something which actually for a really long period of time was confused. It was only relatively recently in the grand scheme of things that these were actually differentiated between, they were just known as jade, whether it was jadeite or nephrite, they were just known as jade. And this and jade uh, and jadeite are so, 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 so similar. Realistically, the only real difference with them is the fact that um, nephrite is magnesium rich, whereas jadeite is aluminium rich. So it's those differences and that's basically it. But that's what can kind of change the quality of colour. But the quality of colour in this strand is exceptional, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's really, really, like, sizeable pieces, amazing yeah. colour. I mean, yeah. you could make some fabulous jewellery with that, couldn't you? Completely. Um, OK, I've got less than 20 of them available now. Less than 20 now available. Hannah, I want to know what you would be doing with this jade. Um, well, I like the idea of um, a bezel setting with seed beads because that's the, the thing that I like to do. Um, so I'd probably go for like, a, well, I quite like golds and blacks together with it because it's a bit sort of art deco as well. Mm. So I'd have a big piece that had a bezel set with like tassel on the bottom and then maybe maybe four other pieces and have like a, a longer sort of Y-shaped necklace almost. Beautiful. Um, and it would be quite a statement. But Definitely. It, still, you know, you'd still have space to you know whether you wanted to do a short necklace or a long necklace you you've got the option then because you because you can add chain to it as well oh. so um yeah there's real workability that's, that's, that's in there greedy of course having all those pieces in there yeah but, but still you could just have one piece and have like an a, like an ornate bangle or something and then you've got all the others to play with as well. It's just really very very special opportunity as I say you know oh with gallery wire oh, they'd be gorgeous oh Ben, you've had your Weetabix, haven't you? <laughs> Great idea. Um, we have got £29.95 for you today. And you have got it absolutely and completely naturally. I'm just over the moon for you all. I really, really am. Uh, West Midlands, you've come through on the phone lines. Cheshire came through on the web. Um, I've got another West Midlands who came through on the telephone line as well. I've got um, France has just popped in. Hello, my love. Um, you've just checked out as well. I've got Somerset in with me and you've checked out out. Well done, Nottingham. You checked out as well. Uh, there's absolutely oodles of you. Can I just let you know, bad news, what's my stock looking like? Seven. Seven left. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I've got seven left. This was a one-off purchase. We haven't, we weren't able to collect any other, any more of this of these big 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 pieces it's incredible jade it's incredible jade ben's never seen it never seen it jade i yeah seen it not nephrite jade mm. but that is what we're dealing with here i've literally got seven left let me talk about the back the the basket situation Pembrokeshire's just chilling with it in the basket. That's so Pembrokeshire. Oh, <laughs> just as I said that, you checked out. Oh, thanks. That's classic Pembrokeshire, that is. <laughs> I've also got Somerset just relaxing with it in the basket. Tyne and Weir's having a grand old time, just sat there chilling. Uh, Nottingham is also relaxing and kicking back. I've got six left, and there are people in on the phone lines as well. So if you do fancy grabbing it, then do feel free. Do feel free to treat yourself. Um, 0800 6... Oh, no, we can do it to Christmas songs. 0800 6 4 4 4 Yeah, that was, that was quite <laughs> oh, a good one, like wasn't it? I it. Press 1, <laughs> of course, um, to get through to an actual human. You can also join us on jewelrymaker.com or you can tap the app which is free and downloadable and you can do it on your phone or your tablet or whatever either way get in touch because oh no i've got have like four left now haven't i four left you'll never guess what somerset still just chilling there tiny and weird was <laughs> as well nottinghamshire's just relaxing um well done not one thumb up then dan that was a double thumbs up, wasn't it? Well done to every single one of you. 
I have got so much more to come. We are going to be doing some more demonstrations. Um, we've got more DVDs as well. Just like giving these a spin. Speaking of a DVD, should we do a... Uh... Ah. Now, this wonderful Hannah is a project DVD that you were really interested in doing and working with Murano Glass, weren't you? Yeah, definitely. Tell yeah. me why, please. Um, I think it's just because it, it's um, it's got its own sort of like mystique on, and uh, prestige about it, really. Mm. You know, it's like it's, it's known, I'd say worldwide, really. If you say I Murano agree. Glass, everyone's like, ooh, you know, it's, it's known for its craftsmanship and the fact that it's like the top of its game. Completely agree. Um, and then I, I got to include that with seed beads. And I, again, I was using um, the Miyuki seed beads, which are also supposed to be top of their game too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a, a nice combination. Um, and yeah, I got to make some ornate, uh, almost vintage -y looking designs, I think. I yes, I agree. With. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Really like, really like the combination. If you're looking at it and you're thinking, well, Bex, I like it, but I haven't really got any Murano glass, do not you worry. You get to learn lots of things in here, um, and I have got the Murano glass coming up for you. The Klimt collar design in here, of course, created because it's, it's very much in reference to the artist Klimt and yes, the colour palette. Yes, Klimt, and, and, the, and there's a painting, famous painting called The Kiss, and, mm -hmm. and the colours in there are all very sort of rich golds and then pops of primary colours. So yeah. Um, that's that's where that came from. In fact, we've probably got those beads coming they, up for you at some somewhere? point. Probably, know. yeah. We are yeah. bringing it to you for four pounds and ninety-five pence, and it, there's loads you get to in here, as you can see. Um, but it is it's a really lovely. You know what Hannah's jewelry is like. like. I'm just going to put it that way. You know what Hannah's jewelry is like. It is head turning, but wearable. I like to think so. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Easy as that. Thank you. <laughs> Easy as that. Uh, well done to every single one of you. If you are brand new, by the way, welcome. Hello, my name's Becky. I'm joined today by my lovely guest designer, Hannah. Hi. But there's also other people on the team, you know. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got Dan Dan, the tech op man. Mm. How do you feel about yeah. that as a name, Dan? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Do you prefer it to just Dan? Yes. You do? Oh, all right. Okay, Brilliant. I love it. I've also got him with me today, <laughs> one of the tallest men in the biz. It's Tall Tom. Hey, Tom. I have also got the, oh, just, how do you describe Ben? <laughs> um, oh. He is. Ben. I've got Ben. A character. <laughs> yeah. The, the coolest dressed, I would say. Definitely the most Andy Warhol looking yes. member of the team. A hundred percent. Um, he's a quirky little kitten. There he is. And I've got the lovely Chris joining us as well today. Hiya, Chris. He's not there. He's not there. He's not there. Where's he gone? He's gone. <laughs> anyway, that is my lovely team. Um, don't forget, if you are brand new, you've never uh, shopped with us before, oh, you get some free gifts with your first order. Yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Two free genuine gemstone strands and a free DVD that actually tells you how to start making jewellery. It's really cool. It's really cool. Um, so yes, that is available. But I have got some more demos for you in a bit, so keep watching and, and that's coming up for you as well. <laughs> okay, shall I bring to you some Murano glass now? And um, these hearts are just stunning. If you have ever been to Venice and around that area, I'm sure um, you will have had the opportunity to visit the actual Murano factories. And I, I myself um, have been and when you are there, they do demonstrations and they show you just how much work goes into creating these pieces of artwork. And it's kind of amazing to consider that what you're looking at here has not been painted on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. It is something which has got little like golden flourishes in there. But it's amazing to think that you've not got it's not painted, it's, it's done in glass. It's kind of amazing, isn't it? It's kind of, yeah, it's, it, it, again, it's like, it's, it's artisanal work, isn't it? You know, it is. It's very intricate, and I, I dare say it takes some years to learn the techniques. Oh, 100%. Alchemy meets artistry. Yeah. And very sadly, it is a dying trend. It is a dying art because, well, let's put it this way, you know, it's something that is very historic. It's something which has a lot of connotations to history. 
but younger people now are maybe leading less away and working with, you know, um, hot furnaces, remember, and, um, you know, working with, uh, maybe they're going more into media jobs, maybe they're going more into, um, yeah. you know, sort of social media, et cetera. It's, it's one of those things that is dying out a little bit. Um, it's kind of having a bit of a resurgence because craft and artistry is, but still nowhere near as many people doing it as they used to. I'm going to bring to you some more hearts, but this time they are in the pink alabaster. Let me hold that one up. Here you are. Here we are. There you know. What do you think? I love that colour. That Morg this Morganite, by the way, eighty pounds Morganite. I did it earlier on for sixteen pounds something, and there's about five left. I'm being told, but I was just thinking about pinks I've seen today. This is a really vivid pink. It is, isn't it? It's sort of like it's a very strong sort of um, feminine tone to them. Mm. Mm. I love it. Mm. I think it's beautiful. Do you know what? It's got a touch of the millennial pink about it, actually, hasn't it? Oh. You know, millennial pink. It's it's like a Pantone shade. It's that kind of colour. Mm, yeah, it's colour. Uh, anyway, we've got for you your pink alabaster. I love that word. And we're bringing it to you today. Your Murano glass, your hearts and your round beads. The round beads, 14 mil. No, sorry, that's the heart. 14 mil, 12 mil on the Rosetta beads. And we're giving them at 12 pounds and 95 pence. Here's the question. What's ambrosia? <laughs> sorry, I know that's... It's, it's a... Isn't it a brand of, yeah. Custard. Yeah, but why do people, people say it's like the best thing in the world, don't they? Do you know what I mean? Have you ever heard that? There's like a phrase that's like, oh my goodness, it's like ambrosia, but I don't, and they don't mean the custard. Oh, I don't, I don't know this. I don't know if you have <laughs> any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking Texas. about. Sorry. Because it's not about the custard. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's not. I never thought. <laughs> I didn't start the show today thinking it's not about the custard would be something coming out of my mouth at work, but <laughs> hey, let's bring to you. It's getting into custard season. Oh, I like custard. <laughs> nice. Now. Oh, I love the. I'm surprised there's any of these left. They always fly out. <gasps> they're, they're so lovely. These ones have got the silver and the gold and they truly are. I'm just going to bring them in. I just want to show you them sort of one at a time just to show you the artistry in these is next level. Imagine, you know, that's so true with a bit of sand, a bit of heat and a bit of nouse. Essentially, you can create something like this, but it is a skill. I don't know if anyone's been watching. I'm going to pick up another one. Oh, of it. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's been watching... Um, there's a Netflix show. It's half an hour long, um, and it is about... It's almost like Bake Off, but for glass blowing. It's really oh. cool. It's worth the watch. It's only half hour ones. Um, anyway, it goes to show just how difficult this skill and this art is. I am bringing to you all of these different ones, including the huge drops, which I just have to show you, because they are phenomenal. Good chasing, now. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's stunning. You're getting the turquoise eventualina pasta, pasta drop. Yeah. There it is. Yes, pasta drop. 20 mil on that. You're also getting the perfect round beads, six of each of them, and they're at 10 mil. One in the silver, one in the gold. 24.95. Well done. And again, perfect if you're getting that DVD, because we do work with drop, uh, the drops in that. Let's add... Look at this. Oh, garnet-like. Oh, yeah. These you know, that's like, like a port. That, yeah, the colour's awesome, mm. isn't it? Oh, Look at that. Golden lined, golden centre these, actually. If I show you the drill hole on one, you'll be able to see that. Golden beautiful foil down the centre gives you this incredibly enticing and impressive glow. Isn't that just divine? Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. What do these make you think of? 
Is it port that spring into mind? Is it wine? With that gold at the heart of it, maybe you're thinking of um, like expensive homes that you go to. Like velvets and things? Yes. But I'm thinking of a specific type of building that you pay to get into. <laughs> you pay to get, not a museum. What? You pay to get into it. National Trust. <laughs> National Trust. <laughs> Sorry. Bear with us from the workings of Becky's Sorry, mind. get there. No, I wasn't being elusive. I just couldn't think of the word. <laughs> we are bringing to you your Murano glass selection. <laughs> and it's six pounds and 95 pence only for you today. Again, fancy grabbing it? Do so. Seize the moment. Maybe you want to pair them with a bit of, um, bit of, because uh, that is Christmas to me, isn't it? Red and green should always be seen, especially at Christmas. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I love your little ditties, it's thank great. Thank you, thank you. Um, so if you want to grab them too, do be quick. And actually, hello, 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 mon chéri. Let me spin this round. Something like that, yeah, colour palette-wise. I, I think they're really lovely. I mean, also, like, if you're adding them to baubles, then you can put the tassel sort of below them. But also, um, Fleur does um, Marlaby uh, necklaces. <gasps> And they, they're good to have, like, a there's, like, a, a, a bead at the bottom with a, a tassel on it as well. We had that DVD in the show, didn't we? I think I've seen ah. it. Two seconds, we'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Gosh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, well, there that's you go. That's a brilliant there idea. We're just thinking, like, you know, that's, for me, that they need a tassel attached to them somewhere. To add yeah. more. Um, yeah. I just think they're, they're just the right shape. Yeah. We have currently got the Marlon <laughs> Notting DVD up on your screen. We've only got four of them. Only four. Only four left. It's four ninety-five. It is. These are going to be perfect for it, and it's shown on the DVD. There's loads of different ways and makes um, um, of how you can use things like this with genuine gemstones, etc. There's literally four of that DVD left in the business. It has been really popular. So do I'll encourage you to grab it whilst you can. By the way, if you do appreciate this, then I have got it on tomorrow afternoon. It's the food of the Greek god Rihanna. See, this is thank you about Ambrosia. Ambrosia, Lena's in. It's like cream of the cream. Of the cream. Creme de la creme. Or oh, creme de la creme. Got you. Yeah. But it's not about the custard, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Ambrosia is a rice pudding. Ambrosia is probably an autocorrect, isn't it? That <laughs> Ambrosia. Quite a nice name for a brand, that, though. It's, it's right, so it's like a rice pudding. Food of the Ambrosia gods. is the food of the god Greek myth. No, it's not custard, though. <laughs> the Greek gods weren't there like, ooh. Ben just, yeah. Here, <laughs> Barbara, and us that tin with the, with the cat one. Ooh, I love a bit of that. <laughs> Don't know why the Greeks were northern men. <laughs> We've got some more Morano glass later. However, at the moment... Oh. We want to chat DVD now. Yeah. Because we've just done a DVD. Makes sense. This is one of the most popular DVDs that we have done relating to Christmas. Oh, wow. It has been so, 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 so popular. And it is with the lovely Hannah Osborne. Now, people have already been messaging in today about the baubles beside me, and they are from this DVD. They are, yeah. Can you tell me a little about this DVD? And if you're thinking, Bex, I'd love that, but I've no idea what Ginkgo and Paisley's are. Don't worry. I've got <laughs> kits that will go alongside this, so you will have them. Can you tell us a little bit about this DVD, please? Yeah, so basically it's it's how you can use some of these feature beads to um, create uh, like a motif or a, or a little component part, and then you repeat that, and then you use that as... Um, kind of a framework to mm. then encase the bauble with. Okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it's a mixture of uh, ginkgo beads and paisley duo beads. Mm -hmm. um, and I quite like them. I mean, that's almost... The paisley duos with the ginkgo like, together, they almost look um, kind of like mermaidial almost. You know, like a... like. I want to say like a like a fish's tail, but that doesn't sound terribly glamorous, but... I know what you, you mean, though. What I mean. You know, yes, I know, you know exactly what you mean. mermaidial sort of look there. Yes. Or you've got... Um, I mean, so, some people were saying that uh, the the way that I'd made the um, the one that's just the ginkgo beads 
you could use one of the component pieces as a pendant if you chose to, because mm. essentially it's, it sort of forms a cross when, when you're making it. Yeah, that's um, that one. And then, and then you sort of repeat the pattern and stitch them together in a, in a certain way so that it encases the bauble. Mm. Um, it's yeah. just stunning looking. Really, really, really it is. The DVD is about to come on screen for you now, so if you do fancy grabbing it, do be quick off the mark, uh, because as I said, it is extremely, extremely <laughs> popular. <laughs> extremely durable as well, so. They're the ones that aren't shatterproof, by the way. Just, well, just watch it. <laughs> but it didn't need to be, did That's it? That's why I'm didn't need to be. different ones this time. Have a little look yeah. at how stunning <laughs> they are. I just think it looks, again, so unique, so individual, amazing that your tree can be completely unique. Absolutely, absolutely. I do like the idea of like a, a handcrafted tree. Yes. Yeah, well, they're all the different little components made by you. Yeah. Or you can make them for other people. Of course, because you could even do sort of one whereby you, you know, make one each year for people, yes. you know, and, and their, their tree will build up and build up and build up. It's so beautiful. It really is. And it's £4.95, this DVD. I'll show you the back of the DVD so you can see all the added extras that you're getting. Extra, extra, beat all about it. Yay! <laughs> Don't know where that came from. That was, that was absolutely There you go, there's a little cross component brilliant. there, look. So this is the one with the ginkgo beads, and I have got the ginkgo beads coming up for you in a few tally bits. But as you can see, um, it's... Same top. We did that before. Oh, yeah, same top. <laughs> it's because it's, it's festive, isn't it? Yes, yeah, very festive, festive red. But you can see how this is really nicely explained. Hannah, as you've seen before, is a great teacher, and she will be teaching us some more elements throughout. The lovely thing about this that I like about having a DVD is, is a fewfold. But for me, it's brilliant that... <clears throat> You can pause it, rewind it, refresh your memory because I can teach myself to make things and sometimes, honestly, two, three weeks later, I've completely forgotten it. Completely forgotten. With this, it's a little refresher that you've always got there. You can pause, you can play back, you can rewind it um, at your leisure. And of course, things like this, you might be making every kind of 12 months. Well, so you're yes. probably going to want to refresh yeah. after a 12-month break, aren't you? Definitely. I mean, I think that's the same bit with a lot of the, the designs that, that we make um, in jewellery anyway. I mean, you can get a certain number of stitches of, of seed beading in your head, mm. but when you're, when you're creating a project, you're looking to, like, to, to sort of stretch that and, and take it further. Yes. So, so although you may remember the, like, the how-to, you might not remember the, the combination the combo. That, that created Very the true. design. So, it's, yeah, it's nice. And speaking mm -hmm. of, what we want to do is we want to bring you a kit that you can use alongside this DVD. So I'm going to bring that one to you right here, right now. We've got the ginkgo beads that we are going to be bringing. So Look at those, I want those. I mean, it's stunning, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. That's For anyone who's Christmas not one. seen the ginkgo and the paisley beads before, because you'll recognise these beads, these are on my Yuki seed beads, these are part of it, and yes, you will be needing seed beads to make the DVD. You've also got your fire line, which you're going to need plenty of again because of how many times you need to go through these, and because it's spherical design, it actually uses, in some instances, more seed beads than you might maybe think. It uses more area, if that makes sense. But then you've got your ginkgo beads and your paisley beads. So tell us a little bit about these, please, Hannah. Um, yeah, so again, um, it's uh, the Czech glass beads and the, uh, the ginkgos are named after, um, if I can say it right, the ginkgo biloba leaf. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, but they also have a sort of an art deco kind of feel to them, like yeah. for me, so they're like the little fan Fans, shape. yes, yeah. totally. Um, and then you've got the, the sort of the paisley design, um, and I can't remember. And those ones are double drilled. Yes, yeah, so because they're duos, it means that they're quite versatile, and, and actually the two of them just nestle nicely together, so mm. you get these wonderful patterns created. Um, and it's almost like they, they sort of lead you with the design. So, yeah. So you, didn't, you don't necessarily have to make that particular pattern. No. But you could use it to build on and make your own version if you mm. wanted to. 
So this, as you can see, is due to, you know, the double drill on these ones, due to that fan shape. And it does give you, as you can see, a really decadent Christmas design. These are the types of colors that you're gonna be able to uh, do with this kit. As you can see, it's so limited. Glad Tidings collection with your ginkgos and your paisleys. You're getting it for a should be deal of 44.95. But, rolling it down <clears throat> we are going to give you a more affordable deal everybody pays the final closing yeah even you came through from Wilkshire straight off the bat 29,095 pence is your close out deal on this one so grab them you've got as you can see a massive amount of beads here um, not just your Paisley and your ginkgo, but all of those seed beads as well in the varying sizes. And they are the sizes that you will need to get your hands on uh, to be able to work with this kit. So you're gonna be getting the champagne in the Atos, they're Jura coated. These are your 11-0 seed beads in the semi-matte. We've also got the beautiful Atos in the silver gold, and you're getting the dark emerald as well. Those ones are 11-0s. So you've got everything you need to get your hands on to get crafting. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think it's, I, it's 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 so rewarding, you know. It's like because I, I've got a few baubles and things that are, are that I have on my Christmas tree every year now, mm. and I like, that was kind of my first foray in, into seed beads. Yeah. Was having a go at, at making um, seed bead um, baubles. baubles, and that was it. Once I'd started, mm. I was hooked. And I think mm. you, that's the great thing about these that because you actually when you started doing them because I remember you showing me. Um, uh, some of the kind of original ones uh, mm. a while ago now you um say that obviously to get your head around making them initially is quite tricky because you have to get the counts right and everything else like that yes yeah but with shapes like this it almost makes it a bit grow a bit faster in a way doesn't it i i think uh, yeah they're, they're they're very rewarding because because you're making component pieces you can repeat those pieces and have them ready to use mm. and then when you come to stitch them all together it's it just i don't know it's just like a faster way of working yeah so a lot of the time with this is is the design process and working out what it's going to look like and how many you need for each bead but then yeah. once you've got the pattern you can replicate that quite quickly yeah I think these are just so beautiful. They are beautiful in the fact that, remember, you might look at these and go, yeah, I'm loving the gold and the green, but my Christmas tree is X, Y, and Z colour. Well, if you change the bauble colours in the centre, you know, yeah. maybe you could tie it in that way. Mary's in from Dorset saying, hi, Becky and Hannah. Loving the show. What size baubles are you using, please? Thank you, Mary in Weymouth. Right, so the ones from the show... Today, so the, so the demo we've the demo done. ones are ones. Uh, eight centimeters or three point one inch diameter, so they're quite large. Um, and I got those from my uh, local garden centre. Mm -hmm. uh, Shatterproof baubles. Those ones are considerably smaller. Yeah, um, and I can't remember what for the life of me they are. I'm pretty but you'll say it on the I'm DVD. Pretty sure won't you? I did mention it on the DVD though. Yeah, I'm sure so you will. So if, you, if you're buying the DVD with the kit, then it will tell you which size baubles to get. Fab, perfect. Yes. Thank you very much. Well, well done to all of you who got those ones as a pairing. They're just fab. They really, truly, truly are. Um, I have got, just for those of you who just want the ginkgo and the paisley beads. Vintage. Chocolate mint. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. So, for any of you who just wants the paisley beads and the ginkgo beads, these ones are going to go beautifully together. In fact, if I hold these two sort of in next to one another, you can see you've got the um, one for me. bronze. Yeah. yeah, you've got the bronze in here. You see how that looks so lovely and vintage. And then you've got the green, the dark olive green as well there. So you've got a real opportunity. We are bringing to you your happy Happy Holidays <laughs> collection. And you're getting the ginkgos and the paisleys and you're getting 22 gram tubes. Price is ridiculous, apparently. Oh, aye. Wow. That's really good. 95. <laughs> um, that is good because usually, well, understandably, you have to pay more for the more complex shapes. You do, yeah. So, so the complex shapes are more expensive. They're like the... Um, 
the coatings, depending on what, what colours they are, can can add um, value or price to them. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But also, they're, like, these are these are both double drilled um, beads. Yes. So they're very versatile, and therefore, you know, they can go so like, so much further. I yeah. mean, if you bought the other kit, you could add these to it quite comfortably. If you bought any of the CB kits from earlier, you could add them to those as well. That's a great idea because yeah. we've had some colours actually that would match up and, nicely. Yeah, and I think and the more interesting shapes you put together, the, the more rewarding the, the the results are. Do you know what I'm thinking? Yeah, cool palette they, wise. they look fantastic with that kit. They really did this would. kit with the flint beads earlier on. The dappled gold kit. Mm. I think that works beautifully alongside it. Does doesn't it? It's almost uh... you could combine them, couldn't you? You could yeah. combine the two sort of designs if you wanted to. That's a lovely idea. And obviously, it's going to give you added extra. It's going to give you more ways and means to move these and and to slant them and make them look different. Absolutely. But also, I mean, you don't have to make Christmas decorations with them. If you want to make jewellery, like you can do that as well. So it mm. doesn't have to adorn a bauble. It could be a bracelet or a pendant or an earring. Okay. I'm going to bring to you next my final colour palette of the Ginkgos and the Paisleys. And I have a feeling... Oh, is it not? Oh, I've not got any oh, next yeah, to no, me. This one oh, there's one Oh, pleasant surprise. Oh, I'd love those to go with this, the Fantasia kit. <gasps> Do you mind handing me the Fantasia yeah. bauble? Bauble. Look at that. They look fabulous with that. Oh, you love these colours. We showed you how to make this. I say we, I did now, sat here and had a brew. Uh, Hannah showed you how to make <laughs> these earlier on, this design, using the Fantasia kit, which is currently sat at the bottom of your screen. It was all of these flint beads, 400 approximately total, and seed beads, and it was only 19.95. Um, those as a pairing. Fantastic, yeah, love the colours. I can imagine because you could make like a little framework of like the uh, the ginkgo beads at the top, and then you like instead of like the daisy shape, you could have a different kind of ornate pattern around the top, and then still have the same effect cascading down. That's a really nice yeah. idea. It's fabulous, that isn't it? It just looks so expensive and beautiful. I love this colour palette. Um, it is just eight ninety five. Eh? Well, I know. I would say grab it and run at that price. Grab it <laughs> and leg it. Yeah. <laughs> They're fabulous, aren't they? They really are stunning. So if you do want to grab it, it's £8.95. Hello, Essex and Surrey. City of Bristol still with us. Thank you. Kimmy, you've just joined us. Nice to have you with us. Um, I've got Devon in. I've got Bev in. Hello, Cheshire. Hello, Essex. Hello. I've got a, a, a Beverly in as well. I've got an Anna Pauline, a Karen. Hello. Thank you very much for joining us. I've got more demos to come. And we are... Do, going bauble crazy, aren't yes, we? Yes, I've, I've changed track. I was going to do a simple earring, but I've, I've had a few people ask me how to make the other styles of baubles on my Facebook page. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll try and I'll do two different techniques a bit later on. I love that. If that's all right. Of course it is. Right. Yeah. So we'll dive into that. Yeah. <laughs> the last bundle. Comes with flint beads as well. And this is our kit, as it were, as it were. Merry and bright. Does it come with the flints as well? I don't know, let's double check it. They're all sat in together. This is what's in the recording. Yeah, flint beads there, isn't there? Oh no, hang on, there's been an issue. Ignore the recording. Gold and paisley. There, That's these them. ones. Yep. Do do. Photos wrong. Ignore these. They will be back, I'm sure. Have a little nosy. <laughs> Merry and bright. Oh, Merry and bright. Oh, we thought that was Merry and bright. Merry and bright. Yeah, we'll all be merry. Actually, that's a ridiculous thing, isn't it? Why would everybody want to be Merry bright? 
whoever she is. Do you know what I mean? Or Mary Ann Bright. Yeah, yeah, them two. Oh, I bet there is a Mary Ann Bright oh, they out there must somewhere. Be two best mates. <laughs> yeah. Actually hate each other, but oh, no. they just hang around with each other because their names are Mary and Bright. <laughs> anyway, Mary and Bright, Mary and Bright collection. It's eleven pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. These colours are beautiful. I love that kind of apricotty one. Again, yeah. it's got the uh, extra lustres over the top of that one. And the gold, very, very rich looking, isn't it? But again, I think you could add those to like, any of the, the, well, I'd say any of the kits. I'd, I'd probably either put them with the um, Fantasia kit or the Dapple Gold again, because you've got the same tones in there. Agreed. Yeah. Completely agree yeah, with you Yeah, you can make some fantastic things from that. Mm. That is all you're paying, £11.95 today. That does work great with your flint bead colours. I'm so doing that at home. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, but in that colourway to go with my peacock coat. Peacocks. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, well done, absolutely every single one of you. Don't forget that um, I've brought you a range of colours in this hour and also i brought you some of the flint beads in the previous hours as well so do feel free to look back on jewelrymaker.com in this hour i have brought to you a selection of the golds a selection of the greens i've brought to the antiques color as well um in here and um yeah the antiques bronze colors too uh, as well as added extras such as your blues and your purples if you've just tuned in and you want to have a little look back it's jewelrymaker.com that you can look back on or just call the call center and ask them if you so wish 11 pounds 95 for you on those ones nice work we are moving on up back on in to Murano glass let's not wreck the place if i can <laughs> um big heart oh <gasps> Do you know anyone who uh, wants to build a snowman <laughs> in November? Because don't forget, November, Frozen 2 is out. <gasps> yes, it's official. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, it looks like a frozen heart. Let it go. Let it go. Etc. <laughs> Other words. <laughs> I can't, I don't really know Frozen that well, I'll be honest. Uh, but yeah, what you've got here is that real sort of beautiful frozen heart, isn't it? You're getting one of them and it's a big 18 mil piece. And it's such a lovely, lovely look to this because you get, it's kind of hard to see, but you get almost this halo of glass around it. Glass? Mm. Halo of glass around it. And then you've <laughs> got that wonderful silver foils underneath the surface. So you're really getting almost this translucent look. It's almost like looking into sort of uh, the Trevi Fountain, looking through the water to see the coins at the bottom. Do you know what I mean? We are offering to you here Oh, Jill holds through the middle, by the way. That's such a good deal. Such a good deal. Really, it is. For something that's very, um, well, as we say, it's very historic. It's very well known, isn't it? it the really, Milano glass really name. It really is. But also, I mean, if, if, you're, if you're making things for um, sort of craft fairs and things, don't forget there's Valentine's on the other side of Christmas. So <gasps> mm, it, 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 all, it all comes around really quick, true, doesn't it? True, true. Yeah, it does, it does. Um, if you do fancy it now, be your chance. £4.45. And, and uh, colour-wise, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Do it with the Jack Frost kit as well because it because the actual kit's got a blue seed bead in there yeah it? so so this this one's got the um eight oh shall i put it down there yeah that's it yeah yeah you, you could have that as a, like a dangle off the bottom of it again with the tassel couldn't you that's gonna look brilliant. It's gonna look really ornate. Oh, so decadent. <laughs> well done, everyone. Four pounds and forty-five p. Do not forget, I have got more demonstrations coming up with the gorgeous Hannah in a little bit. So if you're feeling like you fancy a bit of inspiration, you're in the right place. Let me bring you something very historic looking. Oh, I wish, 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 wish you could see these from our point of view because these have the most gorgeous purple, bright purple glow. And so when you wear this in your jewellery, you're going to be able to see it and feel it yourself. It's just stunning. Stay still, please. No, it's not. Stay still, please. There you go. <laughs> 
you've got the most gorgeous purple glow behind and it's yeah. difficult for you to see because obviously of the direction of the light but it really is divine um it's because you've got the actual amethyst color at the heart of this stay still <laughs> and then you've got the lovely golden flex um within here it feels quite vintage, actually. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you can make some fabulous vintage um, designs with it. And also, if you got the uh, the bicone shape earlier, um, I don't know if we still got them. The, the, I have. Sort of the, this but one yeah, here. I, think, I think they look rather nice together. Mm, and you could do some you. gold wire in there, or you could do some or, or some gold seed beads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Picking yeah. them around the room, well done. <laughs> <laughs> we have got for you your Murano glass today. These ones are the golden foiled, and we have got for you the five pieces today. Nice sizable drill hole in them, and a bargain, bargain price. If you go around Venice and you, you or Murano and you get Murano glass, we are talking, there are four or five figure pieces in the in the sort of gift shop museum, if you will, but you can buy the pieces, but there are pieces that are four and five figures. And even for very small little moments like this, you can be looking sort of the 15, 20 pounds mark just for one mind on say a simple chain or whatever it might be. Because it's a captive audience, it's a captive audience. So your you're, you're people are prepared to pay more, I would say. But here you do not have to, it is a bargaination deal and it's just six pounds 95 pence imagine using this one with if i was doing a color palette i'd be going here and here and i'd be going here i think Ooh, nice yeah that, that'd be my kit gorgeous yeah works quite nicely the color palette doesn't it and it brings out the purples even more actually a little bit um so if you fancy doing that don't forget we did the kits for you earlier on should we do it should we because it's that time already. The black obsidian I'm bringing to you. And I'm going to bring it to you with this really quirky shape that we showed you before. Now, obsidian has always been a well-known gemstone, I would say, in the industry, in the trade. However, a very well-known TV show <laughs> has shot this into fame massively. Game of Thrones. In Game of Thrones, this gemstone was very prevalent in a number of seasons, and I won't do any plot spoilers or anything, even though, you know, if you've not watched it yet, you probably won't bother. Uh, <laughs> but if, if you are planning on watching it, I won't spoil anything. But without saying too much, this is this gemstone is referred to in numerous seasons, in numerous episodes, and is actually a little bit of a saving grace, to say the least, for the characters in that program. And this gemstone has had a resurgence after that point with things like the celebrities who are part of that program wearing this gemstone on red carpets, etc. This, therefore, has come more to the forefront of the conscious mind of, of people out there on the high street who now want to get their hands on this gemstone. They call it dragon glass, we call it black obsidian. Oh my goodness, just look at them. Just look. It's the movement. It's the way they sway. It's the way that you're getting this undulation of light and they wave in one to each other. What you've got here is a beautifully high shine surface, which isn't always connotated with this gemstone. It's unusual because when we talk about black gemstones that are perfect for jewellery, there actually aren't that many. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Bex, I can think of three straight off the top of my head. And yes, I understand that there are many black gemstones, but actually purity of black is quite unusual. Black diamond, for example, is not actually black. When you look at a black diamond, there are many blue back palettes. Also, when you think about, for example, black agate, that is often not pure black. It will have lines or bands upon it. 
when you talk about jet, for example. Jet is obviously black, isn't it? It's jet black. But remember, that isn't the same as this because that's an organic. It's an organic, so it's not a gemstone in the sense of its structure. Spinel, of course, is one of them, isn't it? Spinel is absolutely and completely one of them. But other than that, this is what you've got. And would you be able to do this kind of effect, this kind of look on spinel? No. And if you were, you'd be talking three figures because to be able to get black spinel of this size, it's very tricky. There's big competition for it. But also black spinel has an intense density to it. So you'll know, and this sounds, I, I know I'm well aware that this sounds quite strange, but I, you know, this is the case. If this strand were black spinel, and they, was, they were the exact same size and you had the exact same amount on, that would not be your carat weight because the specific density, the weight, if you will, the gravitational force, if you will, on spinel is much higher than with this. So if you did want to make these and look at these with spinel, not only would it be a lot more expensive, but it would be a lot more weighty. You probably wouldn't want to wear a full necklace worth of this in spinel because it's so heavy, because it would pull, it might even be uncomfortable. So with this, what you're getting is that purity of true black, light black spinel, but you're getting the opportunity in the carrot way, in the sizes, and in its, in its lightness, in essence, to create stand-out, head-turning, yet wearable and comfortable jewellery. So for me, a bit of a win-win-win, to be honest. At this moment in time... It sat on the web at $21.95. But this is our Christmas fair. It is a star buy, and therefore you're going to get a star buy price. They're like beautiful, entangled, licorice pieces with seriously sizable drill holes so that workability is so easy. Nine pounds. That's not what I was expecting at all. No, me neither. I'll be honest. I was probably expecting a, a drop down to like 16.95. Yeah. If I'm from, totally from honest. high 20s. Yeah. Yeah. That is such a good price point for something that is really stand out. It really, I mean, that goes with everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, like there's, there's animal prints are still popular. Very there's true. all the autumnal colours and, and that black's going to go wonderfully with those as well. If you've got any of the Murano glass, that's going to look amazing with it. Gorgeous idea. Any of the seed beads. I love the idea of doing like a big, a big, um, oh, what's it called? Not bauble. Um, bead with bead. See, be, beady bead. <laughs> yeah. Beady bead. <laughs> a big beady bead in between each of these. Oh, yeah, that'd be really cool, actually. Could kind of give a little bit extra movement to I them, maybe. If you could make, like, a 3D, like, ginkgo bauble bead, like, beady bead, and Ooh. then put them in there, because you've got those lovely, like, I was thinking, yeah, like, gold's going to go fantastically yeah. with it, but also I quite like the purples and the blues. Yeah. You know, that, that kind of sultry sort of mix. Quite, I quite like that. Oh, yeah. that works. It's such a gorgeous look with these ones. I think they're brilliant. And they give real movement as well. So actually, if you did have these, say, on a wrist line or whatever, they might move with you, might they? They do. Well, they, they, they carry the eye as well, don't they? So, so your eye is sort point. of naturally draw, drawn. So it's almost like it's moving, even though it's not. Yeah. So I, think, I think that's quite interesting. It makes yeah. it like, appealing. It just gives you such interest. It really, truly does. One in an earring spinning around on a head pin. That's going to be almost hypnotic. Yeah. It really Especially works. once you start pulling out the Christmas dance moves. Oh, yeah. It's not that that's <laughs> Christmas. That's an all year round move. But you know what I mean? Night fever. No, I wouldn't say that's... Actually, I can't think of any specifically Christmas dance moves. Leave it with me. <laughs> think. think about it. <laughs> yeah. The snow angel. I wouldn't get I wouldn't get down on the, the club floor and do that. The half dance, half walk that Shaking Stevens does, good idea. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah Ben. That's a good one. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> anyway. 995. Jingle some bells. Yeah, I know what you're saying. How is that as a dance move, Tom? Reminds me. I can't remember, he says. He's backtracked. <laughs> $9.95 is your deal today. If you do want to grab this one, you absolutely can. £9.95 for you today. The Christmas cracker. That's a good one, isn't it? That could be a dance move. If I said to you, Dan, oh, saw someone doing the Christmas cracker the other night, you'd know I was talking about a dance move, would you? 
I'd ask you how it goes. You'd ask me how it goes. Yeah. I think it might be a two-person thing. Like Do a... you know what I mean? Like a... <laughs> yeah! Yeah, we've got it. Oh, yeah. Right, well, that's one for a DVD. <laughs> um, 9,095 <laughs> pence for you today. Well done. The cutting of the turkey. Surely that's just this. <laughs> oh. Do you know what I mean? Because you've got one of them electric ones, haven't you? <laughs> Surely it's just that. It's not the most. I'm trying to think. Putting up the tinsel. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Unwrapping the presents. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a standard, isn't it? Unwrap the presents. Which one's yours? Is it the big box, the little box? <laughs> anyway, nine ninety-five. We've only got a minute before break. Um, I will just let you. It was a very good use of time. I will just let you all know that um, the ginkgo beads and the paisley beads, in particular, in the individual colours, are very limited in stock. So if you do want to do be Nearly quick, um, I have got more treats and more inspiration coming up with the wonderful <laughs> Hannah after the break. And actually, whilst you're on the website, maybe checking which last colours of those ones you want, topping up on the DVDs, etc. I would say maybe keep your peepers peeled for that nephrite. Right? I'm not sure if we've got any left, but it's worth a little gander whilst Jan. Um, and also, of course, have a little look out for that Morganite. We only had five left at the last count. It was an £80 strand. Uh, we took it to just over 16 so well worth having a nose yeah don't worry though i've got absolutely oodles and oodles and oodles more including my bi colored amethyst now this treasure taken straight from the geode is coming up for you in the final hour with demos and more don't go anywhere we'll be back in a few Now, it's our Christmas fair weekend this weekend and we have got the perfect thing for you. Because as a jewellery maker, what do we like doing? We like making jewellery, don't we? So, especially if you're making gifts for Christmas. Now, if you spend hours making it, then you don't really want to spend ages wrapping it, do you? So we've got the perfect thing for you. We have got, and we love packaging, don't we? We have got brand new Christmas packaging, including red boxes, silver boxes with different coloured bows, with bags, with snowflakes, with holly, with all these beautiful, and even, oh, get this, Merry Christmas stickers to put on as well. So you need to be there with bells on to celebrate our Christmas fair weekend this coming Saturday at 9am. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Our Jewellery Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, 
learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people. a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. to Jewelry Maker. Oh, 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 what a fabulous <laughs> evening. I, I feel so festive. I, I feel I festive, actually, yeah. <laughs> like, if someone said to me, it's December tomorrow, I wouldn't bat an eyelid. I feel so festive. And don't forget, we have got a Christmassy weekend coming up for you. Um, we know that as crafters, we have to get thinking ahead of time. You may well have someone sat beside you now who's, who's not crafty and they're saying to you why on earth are they talking about christmas it's getting earlier and earlier every year i know we need time as crafters you do you really do you really do if you're going to make like adorned baubles things like that and it takes time it's a bit like if you're doing a crochet piece or a knitted piece or you know you're painting something it takes time it does and it's the same with beads absolutely and boy have i got a lot of beads coming up for you now um <laughs> we are bringing to you, I'm going to move these ones. If you love the look of this stand, it's Umbra, the gorgeous Umbra coming up tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, actually. <clears throat> this is exciting. Let's get really, really festive. Da -da 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 DVDs. Absolutely oodles of them. Coming up as one bundle, 8.15 a.m. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Rock. The Christmas Elf. He goes, woohoo, doesn't he? It's in that one. <laughs> he hears that one, isn't he? Christmas poinsettia. And my mini weebs. They're coming up for you at 8.15 tomorrow. Just thought I'd let you know before I forget. Uh, Umbra is coming up between, uh, well, starts at one. But we are talking baubles right here, right now. And we're going to be doing some more demos in this time for you. Bob's do more on those. We're dealing with the blimp beads again in this hour, aren't we? Yeah. For anyone who's brand new, can you tell us a little bit about this bead and these bead shapes? Yeah, so these are um, check glass. Uh, they're flint beads. They have one drill hole through them, and that is in sort of the, the, the fatter end, if you like, mm. and then it tapers. Um, so I guess it's like a, a, a flint stone of old where they, they might have like, used it to, to make fires, things like Good that. Point. So it's that, that sort of shape. Um, you could also say it's a little bit like a sort of a, again, it's like a little sort of wing or a little tail or something like that. Do you know what it like reminds that? me of? I don't know. A mussel shell. Oh, yeah, you know, no, I can see that. I can that see that. kind of shape. You can see them on the necklaces actually yeah. exactly so, where so they so are I wanted, drilled. I wanted to show you that you didn't have to make baubles, although the, the demo will be for the baubles because of the people that have asked me to, to show them. Um, you can use them for necklaces. So this one that's being shown at the moment is just allowing them to fall wherever they want to fall. Mm. And then the one next to it is, is exactly the same. It's just I've sort of adjusted it so that they all sit flat. Mm. Um, so you've got two different looks, but it's exactly the same. It's just simple threading, just yeah. straight one bead followed by another bead. Mm. And then you just have to note that um, because they're slightly curved, when you get to the middle of the necklace, you have to have them facing each other. Um, so you start so you start off stitching through the right hand side of all the beads, get yes. to the middle, and then you start a stitch from the left hand side ah. so that they oh yes, they come I can to see a, that. Yeah, yeah, a point. Yeah. Yeah, if you I look at you. the the black and green one, you yeah, can see you can it better. See that. Mm. Like the very middle okay, two, there are six beads instead of five. Great tip. Um, yeah, so so these these are you can use these for baubles or you can use these for um, jewelry. It's entirely up to you. It's just an alternative approach. Mm. I am going to bring to you now. <clears throat> three sets 
of your flint beads with the blue colors and the blue in the seed beads as well. This is Flint Trio number one. <laughs> oh, interesting. Um, I have got for you in this one, your chalk white baby blue luster flint pendants, the ones that I'm holding. Those ones are a hundred pieces, they're four by eight. Same size and same amount coming in on the um, chalk white shimmer and the chalk lila gold luster. So that's these ones here, isn't it? In here, you've also got your transparent Montana blue Atos and the Atos in the silver lined black aqua as well. So there's a lot in here essentially, isn't there? There is, there's, there's a lot there. Um, the Ato seed beads are slightly bigger. So if you've not used seed beads before, they're oh, more um, easy to work with. Mm. Um, blue again is one of the nation's favorite colors. Absolutely. So um, it's a popular choice. Um, you could go with a sort of the whole Frozen theme. It'd be a nice addition if you uh, if you did the Jack Frost kit earlier. Oh yeah, that's a lovely um, idea. Or you can use them individually. So it's it's entirely up to you how you how you use them. Mm. I love these ones. They've got that really on trend marble effect, mm. haven't they? They're quite unusual, and the more you look at them, the more you see actually. I agree. So I'm bringing to you a hundred of each of the flint beads, two of the big tubes, one price point, just the one price point today. $14.95 only, that is it. Now when you consider how much you are getting in here, and you know, you think about, I know obviously the counts would be different, but you can use these sizes to recreate this kind of design, you can't, can't you? You can, I mean, there's nothing to say you can't make the same designs, but using the, the slightly larger seed beads, it just gives you a, a more chunky look, which yeah. actually is quite appealing. Yes. It's just stunning the amount of goodies that you can do with this. It's £14.95 only. Well done. I've got Devon in, I've got Somerset in, I've got Cheshire in, I've got Greater Manchester in. Can I ask you, why do you think the uh, flint beads are so popular? When we, when we have them on, they're always popular. People always dive on them straight away. I think it's just, it's something different, isn't it? So not, not everyone has got this um, in, their, in their sort of their stash, in their repertoire. Mm. It's nice to have a different shape. Mm. It's nice to try and see what patterns you get from it so I mean they lend themselves very nicely to little floral designs as mm. well um, so that's, that's quite popular mm. um, but yeah I think it's, um, it's it's a lot to do with versatility and the fact that you can create something that you wouldn't find very readily just on the high street no anywhere else it's just beautiful let's bring to you now one of the color palette I think those are my favorite flint beads yeah they are gorgeous aren't they fall into these and feel the <laughs> magic they're fairy wings they're a unicorn horn they're a pegasus flank they are incredible aren't they don't you think oh so bringing to you your flint beads three different guises again and two tubes of your seed beads. Your colours are chalk white teal luster, your crystal full of aurora borealis and your jet in the flint beads. You've then got your opaque black atos and your silver lined lime in the seed beads as well, which again are also your eight O's. This is a fun palette, isn't it? I think it is. I mean, I, I, again, it's like, to me, black and green is, is kind of sort of a, an art deco sort of uh, combination. Mm -hmm. However, I've, I've thrown in the uh, a bit of a twist there with your sort of mystical unicorn colors yeah. because actually when you look at the sheen that you get from them there is a green within that sheen you're right so i think it's always good to pull those colors through and then the whole thing when it's stitched together looks fantastic it's such a magical look it really mm. truly is so, and they do work well so this one I, I, I'm, the, the uh, necklace on the far end is basically that that combination mm. just to show you what they look like if you if you simply just thread them together As so is. there's there's no sort of difficulty in technique there it's literally just threading them together and I, I think they look very very wearable and very I comfortable agree. as well yeah I agree it's it gives you a really beautiful big bold look but without weighing you down yeah without the weight and also I mean it's seed beading without you know too much difficulty so if you totally. want to have a go at using them then this is the way to, to start mm. 
14.95 yes again for you today 14 pounds and 95 pence only if you do fancy grabbing it you know what to do infos at the bottom of the screen to make an order with us please do check this one out i'll just show you with the blue collection as well actually because um, it does give you a real different feel because you can of course mix and match and combine these can't you however you choose but yeah I think this one has definitely got a bit more power in yes. it let's say hasn't it <clears throat> definitely and we're going to be demoing with the shapes aren't we <coughs> yes so, yeah me. so um, because I, I was asked to demo some of the um, the other bauble patterns that I, I did um, unfortunately, I, did, I didn't. I sort of ran out of time to be able to do a DVD, so sorry about that. But um, so I thought I'd try and just show a little bit of each of the techniques, Gorgeous. and then I've used that. But I've also got an 11 uh, gold bead that I've popped in there as well to be able to make those. So. Perfect, perfect. So I have got a vintage colour now for you. Here it is. This has got to have been up your street, right? It's, yeah, it would, I think I think it's quite a subtle combination. If you again, it's it's pulling colours from um, the the finish on the flint beads, and then just um, using those colours to create the palette. Mm. I think these are a stunning selection of colours. Again, I'll give you the baby colours. They are baby blue, they are chalk white with champagne, and they are your uh, purple light. And you've got the galvanised duracoat dark mo mauve, yes? Mm -hmm. And your purple in the <laughs> 8 -0. So that's your sizes, them's your colours. Here's your price. 300, mind. 300 of the flint beads on these ones. The mega packs with the four were in the previous hours. There you go, £17.95. <laughs> that, again, is your closeout deal on this one today. £17.95, slightly more expensive than some of the others, but as you know, it's because you've got the different coatings, the different effects. Yes, yeah, it has to do with the galvanised seed beads as well. The and The dura-coated uh, ones. dura-coating, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Cost more money? They do. To make? They do. Of course. And therefore, they have to be sold on at a different price. But actually, I quite like that about Jewelry Maker because I think it proves that we are very honest in our pricing. You know, what we could do is we could go, well, do you know what? If this is $17.95, let's just make all the other $17.95. But we haven't. We like to be honest with our pricing. £17.95 is your deal on that one. I have one final colour. Just the one. And then it's gone. The one final colour is for those of you who love your silvers and your purples, which I happen to do so. These. <laughs> Tell us about this palette, please. Um, Where did this one come yeah, from? Yeah, so again, you might think it um, a little unusual to have like a, an orange tone in there, but if again, if you look at the coating on the apricot beads, um, you get that lovely sort of purple sheen in there. Yeah. And if you look at the purple beads, you get a slightly apricot sheen. So the two Very of true. them they do. actually sit quite comfortably together. Mm. So you can either add them all together, as I had, have done with the, um, the necklace, just to show what they look like, or you can mix and match. So you, you could have sort of a, a warmer tone with the purples and the oranges or mm -hmm. you can have like the silver tones um, which is more it's kind of millennial isn't it the, the, do you remember the uh, purple and silver millennium colours I know and exactly what you mean yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah so it's a it's, it's a different twist mm. and I have a sneaky suspicion that next spring summer these purples are going to be huge because it was last year's colour of the year wasn't it yes that kind of purple yeah. that, that the ultraviolet the yeah. ultraviolet here yeah. and obviously it takes the high street a while to jump on it but also you've got some of the coral colours that are this year's colour in yeah. there too. So it's, 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 yeah, it's a bit of a, a Pantone sort of mashup, if you yes, like. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Ringing it at £17.45p. Yeah, every pound and pence we can take off, we have. And that's why you've got such a brilliant deal there. Uh, we have given you all the options. So as a brief reminder, this is the one that is currently sat on air. I also did a um, the green unicorn colours. I did the blues and I also did the mixed vintage colours as well. So you look, you choose, you pick, you pair, you design. And it is just 17.45. Okay. Should we get crafting? Do you fancy a crafting set? Yes. Let's do it. But just before we do, can I briefly remind you that I've got this star by coming up. Cut straight from the geode. And I think you can see that if I hold like one out. Just look at that. It 
totally genuine, real amethyst, straight from the geode into your crafting stash. It's coming up for you in this hour, but before it, we are gonna get crafty. So, we're talking <laughs> baubles, aren't we? <laughs> we are. <laughs> right, so, um, the dapple gold bauble from earlier, um, I was just gonna show you how you make the fringing to go with that. So the one that we sort of said had the kind of crystal feel about it. Yes, yeah, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd start with that one, but using a well, similar but slightly different color palette. So mm -hmm. I've got the, um, the black flint beads in here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So um, to start off, I'm just gonna put a little um, stopper bead on. So this just stops everything falling off the end. So I'm using um, an 8 for that, so it's slightly easier to get hold of. And then I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna go through, oh, are we in the right, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go down through a flint bead and again, it's just making sure that your um, beads are all the same orientation. So when you're doing netting, you, you kind of go up and down like that in a zigzag pattern. So I'm going to go for three. Three 11 O's into another flint bead. So they're both facing the same way at the moment. Um, and then I'm going to do another three followed by an 8 and then another three of the 11. So this is your downward sort of stroke, if you like. Mm. And then we're gonna turn the, the needle around and we're gonna come back up. So skip over all those 11s and back up through the 8 there. Make a pose. Like that. And that sort of, that sort of turns your design around. And we're going to come up the other side. So to start with, the first one looks a bit weird because it's kind of flat. So we're going to do three. And then up through a flint bead. So this time, so whereas we started off, we were going downwards on the zigzag. You go through the, the, the top or the back of the curve. This mm -hmm. time you're coming up from underneath the curve so that they kind of mirror each other like that. Okay. Yeah. And then three. And then what you're going to do is you're going to join this side to this side. So you're going to go up through the very first flint bead, but not the stopper bead. And get that out of the way. So that gives you your first little section. Then we're going to take three more of the 11 O's. And another flint bead. And this time, because you're going down the zigzag, again, you're going through the top edge, so down through the curve add that one on okay and then you're going to pick up another three mm -hmm. and then this time you're going to hook it through this flint bead here so the second one down can you see there so it's just through the flint bead and not through the other 11 O's see if I can do it and keep it so you can see it like that and then as I'm working, what I want to do is just push the flint beads over so they're all facing towards, for me, the left, because I'm right-handed, so I'm working away from it. Okay. So one, two, three, and then an eight o, and then three more. And then again, you're going to skip over the three 11 o's you've just added. High enough up, back through that eight there and then that closes the bottom edge and just give it a little tweak so it sits nice and neatly. Okay, so what you're doing, you're creating sort of little diamond shapes out of your seed beads mm. underneath it all. So I'll just do another one there, one, two, three. This time we're adding a flint bead. And again, it's got to, it's got to kind of mirror that last bead there. And then one, two, three of the elevens, and then up through that flint bead on the other side. So you're kind of you're zigzagging up and down, but you're also zigzagging in and out at the same time. So just passing that on through there. Okay, so you keep keep going with that until 
we've got a section like this. Perfect. So what I was try trying to do, <coughs> excuse me earlier, was to see if I could make enough of this quickly enough to actually form the collar around, around um, a bauble, but I don't think I've quite got there, so I just have to explain it. So you can see how like, yeah. it, it would be very high. On the actual, um, the dapple gold bauble, it, sort of, <laughs> it sort of sits kind of about two thirds of the way around. So you mm. have to keep going until you've got enough to, like, to cover that, the whole of oh, yeah. your, of your um, bauble. Mm -hmm. Which is why it's good that you've got so many flint beads yes, in these kids. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, oh, but actually, with that in mind, if you do want to do a few of this design, maybe it is worth getting a couple of colours, actually. Yeah, well, actually, I mean, I, I think it's better when you, when you have the mixed ones. So yeah. I was deliberately trying to be random with that. So, but you're having to be deliberately random. Otherwise, you end up with pairs of colours and yeah, you don't, yeah. don't realise you're doing it. So... If this was this, if this was longer to, to close it up on the other side, um, if I sort of turn it over, in fact, I wonder what's the best way to show you. So basically, you pick up another three. So you get you get to the point so your thread is coming out of the top of your work, and what you'll find is that the bit with the, the little fans here will be wider. So this will always be your top edge. Okay. So I'm picking up three. And get hold of three and then you want to go through the flint bead on the opposite side so I'm just trying to work out the best way to show this I don't know if there is an easy way to show it I think it's just you, you basically you're bringing the two edges together so you sort of fold it in half so I've taken the stopper bead off which was here mm. and then instead of adding one of these beads I'm just going to go down through that top edge mm. and it sort of brings it together as like a little collar yeah I see and then you've got to stitch the sides together so we're going to add three more one two three and then you're going to go through that flint bead it's a little bit tricky putting it together so you're kind of you're kind of zipping the sides together mm. but again making sure the flint beads stay on the outer edge and then what you'll find, I don't know if you can see it very well, but you've just got um, the last triangle to make at the bottom here. So if I move these flint beads out of the way. So you're adding three and an eight o and three. If I pop those on. Quite tricky to do it while you're holding it. And then skip those three um, 11 o's and go back through that eight o. So you get the, the bottom edge, and then you add three more of your 11 O's, and to finish the zipping up, you then go through the opposite side. So I'm just gonna pop those in there. And that's your adding those two in. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> if you want your fire line, it's here. Fire line for you right here, right now. There we go. So I'm just passing the needle back up to the top. So obviously this is a bit too short to be used as the collar. So it's um, it's not really going to fit. I mean, it'll fit round the top, but it'll sit proud. It is your six pound fire line that we're bringing to you in the black and it is super de duper de strong. It is oh so secure. And we are bringing it to you for your threaded materials for a great price. Rolling it down <laughs> to $5.95. Don't mind if I do. £5.95. pence. Ultra, ultra strong and uh, perfect for designs like this, of course, because you don't want to spend all of yeah. this time threading on your seed beads. And then all <laughs> of a sudden, the thread goes kaput and then your seed beads go everywhere. Do, and yeah. Christmas is ruined. Um, <laughs> you don't want that. You don't want that. It's very sturdy. So if I'm I just with you. borrow that other bauble, so it looks quite funky. This bauble, a, a short one. I love yeah. it like that, you it know. It does look quite funky. You I'm could do thinking that. of doing that on like a... You could. Wood. So this one, um, you can see it's, it, it's further down. So yes. all, all I've done, like I did earlier, I, I, I was doing sort of a zigzag up and down to a, a, a central point. Mm -hmm. What I found is I actually made this, this one three times. So the top is fine because mm. you, can, you can stitch... Um, 
but it's, it's like an up and down zigzag of beads and then you stitch these all together. Mm -hmm. But I tried to do that on the reverse side and right. I tried to start off with, with a ring of beads and right. stitch to it and I found that it, it came off at a funny angle. So you have to make these like like sort of tentacles almost. Interesting. Okay. So if you stitch downwards yeah. from, from the bottom of the, the fringe work, yeah. And then you know how we we reversed the bottom edge here with mm -hmm. the little the gold beads with the back through the eight there. Mm -hmm. You kind of do the same thing at the bottom here, so you end up with one bead that sticks down, and then the rest comes back up. Got you. Does that make sense? See what you're saying? Yep, does yeah. make sense. So if, yeah. if if I show you with it, if I show you with that one, effectively you'd be stitching those beads together at the bottom. I get you. Like that. So yeah. the, one, the ones that stick down and then it's and then it can cinch in. Yes, I see. Yeah. Cool. So it cinches around the bottom. So that's that one. And then the other one, the one with the flowers on. Oh, love this one. If this I... is from the Jack Frost collection. So you do exactly the same thing as before, but instead of adding the, the flint beads, you're adding a, um, a different size um, seed bead. Yeah. So I, I've done the up and down pattern there. Mm -hmm. And then to make the flowers, all I've got is I've put three... On, no, sorry, six, six. On, onto a piece of um, my thread, tied it in a loop and tied a knot. So it's it's like one component piece. Yeah. And then anywhere where you have got one of your larger beads, if I just pass this needle back down through. Mm -hmm. Oops. I would if it was the right needle. <laughs> Don't forget we have got needles coming up. There we go. Pass this button back down until I'm coming out of an 8-0 in the middle, like that. And then what you do is you literally you stitch through the back of your flower design. Mm -hmm. And then for this particular one, I'm, I'm just going to use a little um, bicone, a little crystal. So Don't forget, we did some Swarovski crystals before. We, we did, we did. So um, I think this, I don't know if it's a three or a four, I think it's a four mil, this one. Mm. And then just picked up one eleven o, and then let that fall down and go back through the crystal, back through the flower. And then if you stitch in the opposite direction through that same 8-O bead, mm. you'll event, eventually um, anchor the uh, flower to the netting. So what I did with the um, the white bauble, mm. which I just love, is, is effectively made made an, a mm. net that would go around the the bauble, and you can do that. It's the same technique, but it's just varying numbers of beads in between them. Mm. So you have more numbers towards the widest part of the bauble and mm. less to, towards the the top. And then anywhere that there's an eight o, you can stitch through and you can attach your little flowers. And I've just used Swarovski crystals. Um, an 11 o's to sort of anchor them in place. Can I put that on my Umbra spinning tool, please? Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind? Because uh, I just think this needs another another little spin. It needs to be taken out for a spin. Yeah. There you go. So it's kind of a whistle so stop I'm... tour, but hopefully that, that explains all of the, the techniques to some degree so that people can have a go. It really um, does. But I'm happy to. Uh, I'm happy to talk people through it if it, if they um, put a message onto my um, Facebook page if they if they didn't get it. Which is yeah. J M <laughs> guest designer Hannah with a H Osborne with an O. <laughs> uh, if you do want, because some people spell their name unusually, don't they? Granted, Hannah isn't one that people do tend to spell unusually. Well, but you some know people what I mean? forget the H on the end. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Yeah. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> That'd be funner, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway. <Or> Fosborn. <laughs> yeah, it's very true. <laughs> anyway, well, thank you so much for teaching us how to essentially make this one, how to make this one, how to and make the Fantasia one. one. Yeah. Because the Fantasia one was the previous <laughs> what one. What is the techniques that, that are involved? Let's talk. Uh, Preciosa. Oh, lovely. Now, this is, yet again, another of your fabulous DVDs, all about different Preziosa beads. Yes. What was the thought behind this DVD, please, Hannah Muloff? Um, well, really, it was because um, it was the first time I'd, I'd sort of um, been allowed to, to use the, the Preziosa in a kind of kit form. Yes. Um, and uh, I had the, the Ripple beads and the Thorn beads, um, and I think we also launched Pit beads at the same time. Same time, yeah. I um, and I, just, I wanted to show that you could make all kinds of interesting um, designs 
using a combination of them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so there are some very straightforward designs in there, but they look quite effective. Mm. And, for example, I mean... This is some of the footage. That, that one is so much easier than you think it is. Mm. Um, but... Um, and then there's, there's other designs that, that take a little bit more work. So um, it's for, for all levels. Mm. Um, that one's perhaps more uh, technical. But the, uh, yeah, there you go, that one. I just think that is so, so beautiful. Thank what you. a cool DVD it is. And um, it really is a very, very cool DVD. Um, if you do fancy grabbing it, it's on your screen. And it is, of course, £4.95. Um, yeah, we'll take it down to 4 95 <laughs> Do you remember though when we used to do DVDs and every single DVD used to have written on the back, round about here, RRP 9 yeah. And now we're just almost used to the DVDs being 4 95 But actually... Well, we, we've always sort of... Uh, <laughs> It's one of those things. It's almost like a, a thank you to the to the customers, the fact that they can get all of these projects and things for such an affordable price. Yeah. Um, because you know, that without their loyalty, we wouldn't be here. No, that's so true. <laughs> very, very true. We have got something really very special here. What are you nodding at me for, Ben? So I've just remembered. Go on, Ben. There was a shop that sold jewelry making things. Yeah. And I recognised it all because it was from Jewelry Maker, and the DVDs were ten pounds. Ooh. Yeah. But that's okay, you know, because if they're if they're buying from us, yeah, then they're going to have to put the prices. So we're up, the wholesaler; they? they're yeah. then retailing. So, yeah. so I'd recommend that if you're if you're buying to to make or sell on, then yeah. you know, don't don't sell them on at our prices. Cause, no, goodness, you know, no, 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 <laughs> no. Um, wow, well done, absolutely every single one of you. Remember, um, you know, we've had a few DVDs on today. We've had some that teach you these baubles. We've had some um, to do with. The ginkgo beads, oh, that mm -hmm. was them one. We've had the ones... The Preciosa, um, the Murano, Murano, of yeah. course. So we've had a load on for you this evening that you can have a little nosy roo back on if you so wish. Can I just remind you of something else? Because we're about to recap the deal of the day before I do some more goodies. Are we looking on the Nephrite, Tom? Single figures, but we have got some left. Whilst we're uh, getting the deal of the day sting going, I brought you the most gargantuan, elephantian nephrites ever. And we did it for a launch price of just $29.95. The only reason we did it at that low launch price is because it was today's must have. But I thought I'd let you know about it because I have got single figures. But if you're watching on the repeat, I mean, it may well have gone. But if it hasn't, it's well worth diving in there before that price goes up or we don't have it again. Um, but this is literally all we had left and we are in single figures for it, but it's a fab strand. I just thought I'd remind you of it. I am right here right now about to do a quick recap on today's deal of the day. Gemstones left, right, and center. Have a little look at these. That mukai is delectable. Ah, I'm bringing to you eight strands in total, and they are all in these lovely elongated rectangular shapes. Now, what I'm loving about these, first off, is the amount. I mean, you're getting gemstone after gemstone after gemstone, but I'm loving that creative shape. What a crafter's dream this is. Because shapes like this are great for those pieces of jewellery that you want and or need to have a flat back. Now, bear with me. You might think, Bex, I can't really think of any pieces like that. But do bear with me. Think about the likes of tie pins. When you're dealing with tie pins, a lot of the time, if they have got a flattened edge to them, when you're slipping them onto the tie, it's much, much easier to get that gorgeous glide. And also, because of the shape of them, Sometimes if you have a tie pin and the back of the tie pin isn't very, very tight on and you've got round shapes, the rounds, well, what do rounds do? They roll. So sometimes you can have a tie pin that will actually eventually roll further and further and further down, in essence, not doing its job correctly. Whereas with this in a flattened back, you're much more likely to get that good grip ability and therefore that lasting um, 
uh, type in, essentially. It's not just great for that, though, of course. Things like these are also going to be great for brooches for the same sort of reason. They could be lovely for hat pins as well. I love the idea of these for the T-bar rings, which have been in fashion for ages. Have you seen these, these T-bar rings? They're essentially rings that are completely flat. They're not your usual mm -hmm. sort of, you know, rounded, brilliant cut, for example, design. They are a flat design. Something like this would be brilliant for that especially with the difference of the gemstones you could bejewel yourself like um like the king off of um the cartoon robin hood do you remember that bit in the cartoon robin hood where he puts out his hand and he goes <laughs> and sucks out all the gems do you know that bit of the rings that's you could be like that you could be like that what do you like about these Hannah? <laughs> well i like the shape i like the fact that there's something different mm. and again that appeals to me so um, I like the idea of multi-layers, um, like maybe pick two or three strands that, that you like. I mean, mm. I'd probably put fluorite, maybe, is it a venturine and rose gold maybe together? Lovely. Um, or perhaps team some of the jaspers together. Mm. But, um, you know, you can make very you know, wearable jewellery very simply. Yeah. Um, and actually quite quickly as well. So, you know, it gives you a, a lovely sort of opportunity to make jewellery you know, without all that time constraint. Yeah. So it's different, it's colourful, it's a bit quirky, it's quite user-friendly. User-friendly is yeah. a great description. It's $4.99 per strand at that price point. $4.99 per strand. You and I remember the days and the long days, and they, it, this didn't just happen for a week that we tried out, <laughs> this happened for a long time, whereby you wouldn't be able to bring anything on air if it was it worked out six ninety nine or less. Yeah. These ones, four ninety nine, goes to show that is value for money. It's amazing. It really is. I mean, when you think about the fact that these are like they've they've been brought out of the ground. So there's people that have done all the the, the sort of the, the heavy work, if you so like, true. and then it's so been true. like faceted down and shaped and like in some cases colour sorted or size sorted so and, and threaded and then they've been put together and then our buyers have, have, have negotiated their deal and everything. There are so many people behind every strand that mm. we bring. Mm. The fact that we can do them at this kind of price is, is amazing. Yeah, it, it really, really is. truly is. Four ninety nine per strand. And I'll just show you it briefly, if I may, with me next star buy. Because I think there are certain colours in here mm. that work beautifully. So well with it. Do you agree? Huh? Now, earlier on, we were, we were talking about the tulip needles and mm -hmm. you were doing your demo and you said, so I'm working with a yeah. size 10 tulip needle or whatever. And um, yeah. um, you opted to go for tulip needles for this, yeah. for your own instance. Can you tell me, for anyone who's not come across tulip needles before, why you personally why I like, like them? them? Uh, well, I think they, they add a bit of rigidity. Oh, I can't say that very easy. Rigidity. rigidity. Mm. Yeah. Um, so uh, when you're working with beading needles, when I, was, when I was first sort of getting into seed beading, I found it quite easy to actually snap needles. Mm. Um, and that's partly because I wasn't very practised as what I was doing, and partly okay. because I, I, I was trying to... Um, force the, the, the beads, um, well, force the needles through the beads and things like that. And sometimes, it, because there was flex on the needles, yeah. unless you pulled them exactly straight, you could just inadvertently like snap them. Mm -hmm. So when these tulip needles came in, um, I was handed some and, and told to go and have a play with them. Mm -hmm. And I just did what I normally do with my seed beads. Um, but I found that I didn't snap any needles, that actually they lasted a lot longer because although... Um, Sometimes you want flexibility in needles, sometimes you want them to be a bit stronger. For me, because I'm, I'm using them so frequently, um, I just found that having that, that bit of extra strength there meant that uh, they're just easier for me to use. Mm. Plus, I found that they're easier to thread. So I believe that's yes. to, to, like, something to do with the eye, but um, it they, absolutely they, they is. really are quite easy, well, <clears throat> easier than some needles to thread. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, these warners, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see they change in colour. So you've got the silver body to these. I'll show you on some of the other sides a bit uh, later. But you've got the golden head, which means that the actual threading point of these is much, much, much clearer. Also, let me let you know that these are a size 13. Now, these are some of the finest mm. that we do. You're looking thickness-wise around about a 0.3. 
three zero in thickness on these. So it's so only a little bit above that of what you would expect for your 0 0.25, but boy, they are strong still. This is not like working with wire. It is made, you know, they're, they're hardened needles. You're getting two in here and they promise you they are so sturdy, so strong, and you will be able to tell the difference. The fact of the matter is, if you are used to working with the other brands that we do, it's always worth giving these a go if you, because you don't know what's right yeah, for you everyone, until everyone you try Everyone has a different them. preference, yeah. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And also, as far as I'm aware, we don't actually do the size 13 in the other brands, no, do I think, we? No, I think we only do 10s and 12s in yeah. the other brands, yeah. So yeah. it may well be worth you treating yourself to this one for any of those designs that you need to go through numerous times um, because these are so fine. But as I mentioned um, earlier on as well, even if you own needles already, there will be a point where your needles need repurchasing. Right? Yeah, like. absolutely. I mean, I, 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 honestly, I think it's the sort of thing that if you're if you're a beader, then you need anyway. So it's worth having a variety of sizes yeah. and strengths because you, you're never quite sure what you're going to need depending on what you're going to make. Completely. Um, let's go on to a size 12 now. These ones thickness wise are a 0 0.35 and these ones are um, kind of in between these and those, aren't they? Agreed. Yeah, yeah. yeah agreed. <laughs> Um, the great thing about, well, the interesting thing, well, I think it's interesting, um, <laughs> is the fact that with these ones, the tip is ever so slightly rounded. So that means they are less likely to split any of your threads, which the other brands, you know, aren't, aren't notorious for. I will let you know that the size 12, due to the actual finish on them, um, are finished by hand. So they are finished individually, um, not by machinery, but actually by hand, like like they used to back in the day. Hi, Hannah. Hi. I prefer the tulip needles as the thread glides, glides through, through the, the hole. They do. they do. And your thread tends not to snag. I won't use anything else. I use a 12. Well, there you, go. there you go. Isn't that interesting? So it actually glides through the eye of the needle a bit better. It's just, I don't, it just does, you know, it just seems more, I don't know, it sounds a bit crazy, but no, it, it no, really no, does. I it's like, it really it. helps you when, it, when you're like threading needles. Yeah. It's, it's one of the things that you can spend a lot of time with. I am nicking this. I know it's not uh, the size, but I just want to show you, this is what it actually comes in. It's in one of these little pots. Comes with a little sticker on that tells you what size are in. You can always take that off and use that obviously for something else, you know, pop a um, head pin or something on the top of that and use it as a little pendant or something, couldn't you? Or you could put a little message in a bottle. Ooh, throw it. Potions! Dan, yes, great idea. I, you do strike me as a Harry Potter character, actually, Dan. Is it because I have glasses? <laughs> no, I don't think it's just that. I mean, I think it helps. It's, it's the levitating when he's on the camera. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety-five for you today of your wonderful <laughs> tulip beading needles in the size twelves, and they are just five pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. You have a scar on your head like Harry Potter. <gasps> it's not in the shape of a of a what? What did you? An N. It's meant to be a lightning bolt, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, the N. Let's go. Oh. Sorry, it's size 10, is it? Oh, the assorted sizes, right, okay, yeah, sorry, the boxes are a bit jumbled yeah. up. Okay, let me bring to you the uh, assorted sizes. For anyone who's new, why oh why do we need different size needles? Well, if you've not tried them, I would strongly suggest that you do, because if you're working with very, very fine work, you, you're going to want um, a, a narrower needle because it, it allows you to pass the needle and the thread multiple times through the smaller uh, seed beads. Got you. Um, so, for These example, if you, if you saw Monica earlier with a, with a beautiful Delica designs, mm -hmm. um, you could replicate that, but with smaller beads, if you chose to, and then you'd need a, a narrower or a finer needle. Whereas if you're if you're using just like the, the sort of like 11s and, and things that we tend to use, then mm -hmm. like sort of a, a 10 or a 12 might might be your your um, or sorry 10 or 11 might be your um, preferred one. Mm -hmm. But then if you're going to go for the narrower beads, then you go for the narrower needle. It's it's 
It's well, it's not rocket science, is it? Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. But it <laughs> but is important it, to yeah, know. It's yeah. really important to know. So we have got the four different sizes, as you can see. You've got your size 10 in the short, the size 10 in the long. You've also got your uh, number 11 and your number 12 as well. Different needles, different jobs. 6.45 to give it a go. I think that's a great price point. I do, I, do, I really do. To give them a try. And, and it means that you can try all the different sizes. You can get a sort of used to what you think it, well, it, you get used to using them and therefore you can sort of develop an, an affinity with what you would rather use depending on the size of bead that you're using. Mm. Too true. And it does really make a difference. As you can see, the varying in sizes here, it runs all the way from a 35 mil in thickness all the way up to a 46, um, 0 0.5. 4, 6 obviously mill in thickness so it really does make a massive difference for the amount of times it you does. can go through your beads yeah um for kind of the angles as well it'll let you get to oh yeah as well with the thickness of them that that can make a big difference too um so it is just six pounds and 45 pence hello julie's messaged in yay saying hi all i have just started using the tulip needles they are the best I have ever used. Julie, thank you so much for that message in. You're such a love. It's amazing that it makes a big difference because in all honesty, if you'd said to me, you know, four years ago, oh, this needle and this needle, there's a big difference. I'd have gone, yeah, right, you're having me on there. Yeah. But having used different brands of needle, it really does make a difference. It does. Thank you for that, Julie. This one's Celeste great. Celeste is in <laughs> saying, I managed to bend a tulip needle at a nearly 45 degree angle. I decided to get my pliers out and straighten it and I'm still using it. Amazing. Well, that's, hey, that's fantastic because cool. normally if, if you try to unbend a, a needle, it just, yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't, that's really cool. I didn't know that. Thank you for sharing that, Celeste. That's brilliant They're to know. They're worth a try, aren't they? Definitely. They really are. Yeah. Give them a go. Well done. Okay, let's go to size 11. There we go. Ta-da. And voila. This is a this is one, one. of my go to So yeah, tens and elevens. I tend to to have it in my toolkit all the time. Just I I just prefer them. Yeah. Because I mean I can use those with uh, fifteen o seed beads, um, and as long as you're not doing like lots of passes through them, then that's fine. Mm. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Again, very, very strong. And you can use these for a number of things. Obviously, we are talking about beading, but you can use these for, um, you know, beading in the sense of peyote stitch, etc. Yeah, but you can beading. also yeah. use them for bead embroidery. You can use them for, you know, your baubles. You can yeah. use them um, in very simplistic designs even, such as the ones you've done with the blimp beads Absolutely, besides yeah. the mean, necklaces just, just stitching the through you know it's yeah. like just a straightforward sewing yeah. technique although I, I would recommend it like it's for going through beads rather than through fabric yes yeah, yeah. um so yeah yeah so here you go you've got absolutely oodles in here again it tells you on the back all of the useful things it also uh, talks to you about the size and thickness of them as well you are getting four in here as you can see um and it's just two pounds 99 that is it loads of you with this in your baskets you're all having a little think rooney about it um so number 11 obviously is quite a few people's go-to actually yeah yeah i mean i i, I think for the size of beads that I, that I tend to use on a regular basis mm. um then these are perfect because mm. you, know, you can you can get them through all of the beads that i would normally use yeah um and you've got that strength and um i was going to say that word again rigidity good work <laughs> i can ne and i can nearly say it <laughs> is it as hard to say as because i really struggle with philanthropist philanthropist yeah, yeah you've nailed that ben yeah. have a go philanthropist yeah, you've nailed it yeah. as well. Why can't I? I well, can't can get you, me can you say around rigidity? It. Rigidity. It's the t -t 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 Is it that? <laughs> I'm all about the th 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 get me. The d d Rigidity. No problem. Yeah. It's the th th It's like a vocal exercise, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm going to go to bed now. Thrillanthropist. <laughs> anyway, £2.99 on these ones. Hello, multi buyers. How are you? Evening, Cheshire. Cheshire's in. Lucy from Cheshire, my neck at Woods, absolutely loves a tulip needle, she does. Uh, well done to you all. Let's bring you one last size 10. And these ones are the long ones. Silly question. So I'm going to word it differently. What is the difference between the short and the long when it comes to 
Beading needles. Beading, yeah. It's, uh, what's the number of beads you can stitch through in, in one pass, really? I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Of course it is. It, I mean, uh, some, well, I, I also, I, I've got quite long fingers, mm. so actually, I quite like the longer needles, mm. um, just because I find them easier to hang on to. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of it that way, but yeah, it's a good yeah, point. Because some of the shorter ones, although I can use them, I, I, I really Your have hands to... are in the way. Yeah, mm. it's almost like <laughs> too many fingers. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. So, yeah. Mm. But um, yeah, these ones are really good. We've got size 10 again. You are getting four of these ones. They are in on your screen. Again, at £2.99. There you go. £2.99 for you today on your tulip needles. It's a well-known brand. It is a workable brand. It is a usable brand. And as I've said, you can use it on many, many different treats and goodies um, for your uh, designs. So if you do fancy grabbing it, then now is your chance. Lucy and Chester again, loving the tulip needles. Do feel free to check out my loves. Um, so £2.99. pence. Remember, you can use these with your standard seed beads. Yes. Such as? Stay. You can also use them with the likes of your flint beads as well, if you want to. We've had quite a few flint beads on for you tonight. I've also had the ginkgo beads, the paisley beads. I've had DVDs with beads. I've had oodles. So do feel free to have a little nosy back on Jewelry Maker. Okay, it's time. Have a little look at this strand for me. And imagine and remember that this is Mother Nature's creation. You can almost see especially if you're looking at the two termination points here. The termination points are basically, it's, it's um, a point that gems form in. And this gemstone, this is obviously amethyst, this gemstone forms with that natural end point that's known as a termination point. And that point is what crystal healers and, and people who are interested in uh, feng shui, etc., are really interested in. Because it is the natural movement, the natural power, the natural direction, let's say, of the gemstone itself. Now, with these ones here, as you can see, those points are, if you imagine a geode, what would be forming towards the inside, all pointing in one towards each other, all of these endpoints here. So what you're seeing essentially to me looks like we have literally excavated this outside, out of the geode, we put a drill hole through it and then we've brought it to you. That fading of colour is real, that fading of colour is natural, that fading of colour could be yours right here, right now. This is just beautiful i i think this is captivating i think because i'm holding it to the camera and i think it's so much easier to see in real life like literally the formation of these and how they're forming together that fading of color is really real and although it isn't amatrine it's not a million miles away from amatrine itself it's just that this isn't the purple and the yellow this is the purple and that pure white and in a sense it is two gemstones coming together again it's the purples of your amethyst and the clear of your quartz now the fact of the matter is that what I'm bringing you here is completely stand out. And if you are watching on the repeat, I will encourage you to get yourself on those phone lines like now, because if it hasn't sold out already, it probably will do any second now. I think it looks magical. You can see all of the growth points of this. You can literally see the story of amethyst locked away in here. And as I said, it's not amatrine, but it is very similar. You're getting amethyst and you're getting clear quartz brought in to the same gemstone. To be able to get that, it's very, very difficult to be able to do. To be able to get that, you're gonna have to um, um, find the right point that is the right temperature, that is the right pressure, that has the right ingredients, that has the right amount of sort of period of time to form in that geode. It's so unique, it's so individual, and I think for unique jewellery, 
These are talking points. There's a, a big trend actually for for rough cut gemstones and things in that in the high street and all. You know, the the current fashions and trends include quite a lot of gemstones. Agree. So it's, it's nice to be able to show something in its natural form. Yeah. But it's been turned into a bead, so you can you, you can work with it. It's just amazing. Look at those clusters together. I just think it's absolutely divine. I really truly do. You know me. We've known each other years now, haven't we? If there's a price on screen and I've not mentioned it for this long, there is a reason for that. If you've added it to your baskets, you've already checked it out, well done. Pat on the back because everybody pays the final closing. Should be £30. Come 8am, it will be £30. But wow. for you today, £17.95. This truly could be a small geode's worth of beautiful amethyst, couldn't it? This could be absolutely and completely. It is £17.95 for you today. I think that is such a stunner of a price point. I truly do. I love it. I think it's different. I think it's unique. Collectors, you're in. Hiya, Alison. Thanks for joining us this evening. Good evening, Wendy. I hope you're having a lovely night. Um, well done to you, Sue, as well. You've checked out. Thank you. Sue, are you having a bevy? Are you having a little drinky poo this evening? Uh, well done to Hertfordshire. A collector from Hertfordshire's come in with us. Nice work to you. Um, a huge, huge, huge well done to every single one of you. Let me just show you too. I did show you this with some colours earlier on. Just as a reminder, these are available for you still, but as I said, they are low in stock, in particularly the ones that came with the flint beads. But I just want to look how great those flint beads go together. I know, they're fan like fantastic colour match, aren't they? How do you feel about doing flint beads and genuine gemstones together? I actually think it'd be nice to do things like that because yeah. then you get all the different textures as it's well a bit as, different, as finishes as well. Mm. Hannah, as per usual, you've been absolutely fantabulous. Thank you. Um, when are you on with us next, my love? Um, I think it's, is it Saturday or Sunday? I can't remember. So the 19th. Um, Right, doing um, spear beads. Ooh, yeah, exciting. <laughs> Hannah, thank you so much. Tomorrow, there is a lot going on. Remember, all oh, the DVDs have gone, but remember you've got that big DVD bundle coming up for you at 8.15. I'm going to be with you on the mid-show where I'm joined by the incredible Jan, and we have got Umbra as well. We're launching this design amongst others that you've not seen before. If you do want to see some of the designs, have a little look on Rebecca Redican Presenter Facebook. Thank you so much for joining us. You've thank been you. brilliant. Have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow, my loves. Bye-bye. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi everyone, I'm Gemma Crow, guest designer here at Jewelry Maker, and I'm just popping in to tell you quickly about 
a challenge show that we've got coming up on the 16th of this month. So on the mid show on the 16th, we will be launching a kit. I have no idea what it is. I will be challenged there on the show live along with you. You'll have the opportunity to purchase this kit and we'll work together over a two week period to come up with some designs and share our creativity. There will be a page set up or a post set up on Facebook where we can communicate and share any creativity or inspirations that we get for the, for the designs. And then on the 29th, there'll be another show. On that show, you, your entries will all be submitted. There will be prizes and competitions on that day. And we can reveal what we've all done with this kit. And I really hope that you want to join in with us. Gee, well, well it's, it's now Christmas. You need boys to do it. You still need a tree. Still needs a tree, says Neri. Well, look, there's a white tree in the corner. You could just kind of shuffle it in a bit. <laughs> with a hat on. It's a tree with a hat 